You would be wrong, Silver. I am not getting food. Where's the game? Fuck. <laughs> Hi. No, I'm not getting food. Sky's getting food, though. Sky is getting the guilt cheese. So uh, he's not here at the moment, so we can make fun of him before he gets back. Look at his stupid little fucking cow face. Wait, I can't say. Fuck, I made that. No! He's stupid, and I'm gonna kick him in the shins. That's not an insult, that's just a threat. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and some oil burgers. What is an oil burger? Is that just like an oily burger? <laughs> I want a guilt cheese. But hi guys, hello Marv, hello Wolf, hi Silver, hi Hogan, hi uh, Meso, hi Marv, hi Kay, <laughs> hi me in chat, hi Sky who's not here right now. The cows. But yeah, the um, but no, I didn't start stream late. <laughs> what are you talking about? I did however get up like an hour ago. <laughs> so, uh, I'm a functioning member of society, I promise. Oh my god, I'm still waking up, I apologize. Even said that you were hungry in the VC, hope you can get some food after stream. <gasps> yeah, I mean, no, I'm, I, that's fine, I'm used to being hungry. I was gonna say, have you seen me, but technically you haven't. Uh, <laughs> until I do line dancing demos, if I can find a studio. Yeah, I can do them. You didn't sleep at all the last two days? Oh my god, uh, I weep for you. You're a zombie, you're probably more game than- uh, not game, fuck, I was reading Mesa's messages. You're more, uh, zombified than I am right now. Are you being hungry? No game die, what the fuck, are you like three minutes behind me show? The game is right here. <laughs> what did we do last time? We- <laughs> did we get a- did we get an orange chow? For some reason I remember us getting like- a shiny orange chow or something. Is that true or am I crazy? And I think I segregated them. <laughs> I think I actually switched them around. Hold on, okay. Let me look at them because it's been a couple weeks. Who the fuck are you? Are you guac? No, you're a moly. Oh, a moly reincarnated. So I'm gonna find like your default. Spent a day playing Common Rider. Hell yeah. Is Kamen Rider a video game? I guess I'm not surprised. Uh, so who is- What are you guys doing? <gasps> they're dancing! Dude, they're fucking emoting over his corpse. Holy shit, dude, the BM, what the fuck? Look at these little guys. I'm raising gamers. <laughs> uh. Oh, they're so cute though. <laughs> So the one on the bottom there, that is rules, I think. He's the one that fucked up my entire plan. And now we can we can't get closer to our all S chow. Like we wanted to. Do. By that I mean like oh, I wanted to. Do. Who are you again? Oh, you're Zach! Oh, hello, Zach. And then Amoli's over there. Banana, you're just vibin'. Uh you are does that mean you're Roberto now? All of the dark chow were- <laughs> All the dark chow since we're like s cycling through their different things and they all look like the same. <laughs> they all, uh, I, I can't get all straight, man. Okay, what's in here? Superhero show but has a bunch of games based on two. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, I knew a guy who was like really into Kamen Rider. So he would, like, rant to me about a bunch of common Rider things in, like, VCs and whatever, and I'm like, Dog, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, nor do I care, but you do you, buddy. Oh, there's Stanley. Hi, Stanley. Everything will be okay. Boop. Oh, look how cute I love the Hero Garden music. And then we have Guac. And then we have... Kudaudo, that's right. And then we have Fracoso. Fracaso, that's your name. Back. Welcome back! And then we have Kong. I come bearing PB and J. PB and J? I thought you said you were making grilled cheese. No, I said I was making a PB and J. You said grilled cheese. No, I said PB and J, and then I started talking about grilled cheese no, after that. <laughs> no, you said you're gonna no, go make a grilled cheese, I and I was no because I thought in my brain I'm like, why the fuck is he saying he's gonna make a grilled cheese? How quickly can you make a grilled cheese? You said grilled well, cheese, sir. 
You Why did would not I say, say grilled peach. cheese. I have not made a grilled cheese. You probably in years. said it by accident because you were thinking of grilled cheese, but you said grilled cheese. You did not nah, say PB and J. People who are there in VC in chat back me up on this. Why? I this said that my, they, it was just my us in here. It was just us in here. Grilled peanut butter and ice jelly. Yeah. For some reason, I thought we were gonna get like a shiny orange chow. Oh, that's right. I'm still waiting for uh, the gray one so I can put it on Zach's head so we can actually identify him. Sky's not speaking the truth. You weren't even in here. They were because he was there when I talked about it. No, it was. Time. You said right here. It, it, it was only us two in here because you said it in this one because you're like, I'll be right back. I'm making a grilled cheese. And you didn't say that in the uh, in the other channel. You said that after we were in here. <laughs> I don't remember saying that, but it doesn't mean I didn't say it, so yeah. I will agree to disagree for now. <laughs> but before that, I did say I was going to make a PB and J, which is why I was just, uh, what, like, in, yeah, I'm going to make a PB and J, I'm going to bring it back. If you were in the main yeah, VC, I said, then yeah, but well, when you were in here... I'm going to make a PB and J and then come back up uh, with it, because if I take, if I eat it downstairs, I'll be gone forever. Yeah, you said grilled cheese when you said that, and you were in here. Character select. A, I said that in the group VC, and B, I said PB no, and J. No, you didn't! <laughs> Yes, I did. Because <laughs> then, then we started talking about something else. I'm like, okay, no, I'm go because now. you I... left immediately after you did that. We were already in here. You're gaslighting me. No, I'm not. You... Oh my fucking chat. god. I'm going to actually end your life. Holy fucking end shit. End my dude. life that killed me. I am Do too it. tired. I am going to get so fucking mad at you if you keep this up. I'm too tired to deal with your bullshit right now. Oh my god. Stop bullshit, but okay. Yes, it you is! Disagree. You disagree. literally said fucking grilled cheese! You, we were in here, and you're like, alright, I'm gonna go make a fucking grilled cheese because if I, like, and bring it up here because if I eat it downstairs, I'm gonna be gone forever. And I'm like, okay, I feel like you're gonna be gone forever because you're making a grilled cheese anyway. I didn't say that out loud, but that's what I thought in my head. And then you went, you left immediately afterwards. You wouldn't have said, you wouldn't have left when you were still in the main VC because we had to transfer over to this VC because we're in a different one than we were before. No, I mentioned that well in the main VC before I left, as I was saying, it was like, hey, because when I go to make the PB&J, if I eat it downstairs, I'm going to be gone even longer. Uh, uh. Ow, fuck. You said it in my head. What? <laughs> you said it in my head, so you said it. Huh. Ch check me, him. atheists. That's why I spoke through his head as like a religious statement, like a religious figure. Wait, what the fuck? Why am I powering up your swim? You're already at max. I forgot to get rid of his items. Ah! Okay, you're at max, you're at max. Banana's at max. Who am I powering up right now? You little asshole? Yeah, oh, you're the one that I need to power up your stupid ass swim. Ah! So I, I put I put Paleo on my Switch, right, to play it. Why? And then I was like, is it still free? I'm not gonna have switch? internet connection. You didn't pay. Yeah, it's still free. Okay, cool. I was gonna say if you paid for it, it would smack I mean, you. you. You get stuff for putting like kind of your Switch account or your Nintendo account to Paleo, but like I was gonna play it. I'm like, I'm not gonna have internet connection. There is no point downloading this game because I'm not gonna be able to play it. No, my so, brain like, is just... working fine, Wolf. My brain is functional. Okay, go on. That was basically the end. I was just carrying it on, but I was like. I'm not gonna be able to play it. Then why would I play it on Switch when I could play it on PC, which is just objectively better? Yeah. Fun fact: the graphics on the Switch are shit. <laughs> the controls, like I was talking about it, what yesterday? How much I hate the Switch controllers. You're an instant too sleep, good night, Marv. Animal Crossing, though, I could do that because that's an offline game. It's my offline cozy game. Man, I have not played Animal Crossing in a long time. I love streams of like when the when like the VTubers go to their the islands of like their their watchers. They like open it up and then they go to their islands codes. Yeah. 
is funny. Smash Online is pain. I mean, it's your fault for playing Smash in the first place. I'm sorry. Like, that's just a skill issue on your part. I don't remember the last time I played Smash. That's why I played Smash was in college. I got fucking obliterated because it was a new Smash I had never played before. Skill issue, I guess. Mm hmm. Yeah. Precisely, I, actually, yeah. I am only good at Smash with Kirby. <laughs> Kirby is my main. I main Kirby. Uh, I don't spam down B because I'm not a psychopath. I am not one of those Kirby mains. But I, uh, I am a Kirby main, and, uh, uh, what was I saying? And I'll kick your ass as Kirby. <laughs> Probably. The last Smash game I played was Brawl. Oh, Melee, it's where it's at, bro. Never played it. Oh my god, Silver, no! Let's drop it! Dude. Ugh. You got second place in a launch... A launch brawl tourney? What's a launch brawl tourney? I know brawl, brawl is, a, uh, is a... Is a game. But what's launch? Is that like one I of the sub games? What? Like on, like on the game's launch when it came out. Oh, Brawl when it launched. Oh, okay, okay. I forgot there are people that call that launch. The standard term in the gaming community. Like yeah, when yeah I never really hear people say that. Launch titles. What? Like when a new console comes out, the games that come out with it are called launch titles because it's you know they're there when the yeah, game for the console that. launch. Yeah, there's that. Yeah. The uh, you for what? Yeah, for launch titles when you do that, they uh say launch titles. Usually I hear people say like on release rather than like on launch for just individual games. Yeah, they're both like you know interchangeable pretty much. Yeah, they're interchangeable. I just never hear depends. anybody actually say on launch. But also I, I don't talk food. to gamers so. <laughs> Bitch, what am I then? <laughs> I'm not a gamer, so I'm just a standard loser, I guess. You're a nerd, a cow. <laughs> nah, not the nerd. The not nerd. even nerd. 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 You, you gotta add the G E on the end. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> you would fucking twitch terms on me. I can't believe this. <laughs> Holy Fellas, shit. I am getting obliterated <laughs> live on stream. It's true. This is just a, it's actually a snuff stream. Yeah, you, you ever see one of those? <laughs> I haven't seen a snuff stream. Can't, can't say that I have, though. I don't think I've seen a snuff stream, but I have seen uh, some videos on the interwebs. Yes, uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, indeed. I talked about one that I saw the other day with a. Uh, the four people in the, uh, the electric <laughs> cable in the rain. I don't think I've seen that one. Did I, did I tell you about that one? No, you didn't. So it's these four people pushing this, like, giant, like, metal object. It's, like, got four poles, like a square kind of thing. Uh, and they accidentally bumped into a, an electric overhead line. And they all just, like, fell down at the same time. Oh, that's uh, fucked. One guy then stood back up, kind of ran forward, bumped his head on the other side of the of the thing, and fell back over. Oh, I'm like, that's. That... Like, Dude, like, he almost find that made funny, it. But, like, he almost made it. <laughs> I shouldn't find that funny, but like I don't know. I mean, I didn't know him personally. Like I recognized that it was you know a tragedy, but like as a situation, it's kind of funny. If it were, you like, know? a comedic skit, you would think it's funny? Yeah. Yeah, it would be hilarious, but... Oh, remember oh, back man. in the infamous Ganondorf reveal? Back in Brawl, so many traumatized. Yo, the no, disrespect. I was like... The disrespect people what? pull with Ganondorf is hilarious. Uh... Super Bros. Brawl release date. No, I was eight years old when that game came out. Sorry, I don't remember that. Oh my god! <laughs> I played it because I had a Wii. We did. I played. Uh, have I played all of them? <laughs> we started off with Melee because we started off with the GameCube. But I, I have played the uh, the N sixty four version. 
Tell us more about video games or about um live leak stuff. I, Yo, I we got, we got, we went off the I rails. Think. How fucking long is it? It hasn't even been twenty minutes, and we're talking about live leak. These streams are fucking wrong. <laughs> what? This always happens on like the Chow Garden streams. <laughs> I don't even think I talk about this stuff on my own streams. People were tricked into seeing snuff? Wait, what? When was that? I don't remember that. Did people, like, edit snuff films on top of his, uh, release trailer? I don't remember what his release was. A release announcement. Get out of here, Roberto! Shut the fuck up! You ruined enough. my plans to get an S Chow. You don't deserve food, idiot. Wow, You're gonna starve him? Rules deserves to be starved. I can't believe you would play. do your oh, hello, Kyoku. named husband's thing like that. You're talking. I show up late, have food, and you're talking about Smash. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, wait, this isn't Smash with hell. Like, no, no, it's uh we're definitely talking about Smash. We're talking about Smash Bros. and and nothing else. How about that Ganondorf right, fellas? Ganondorf gameplay, any Ganondorf maze in chat? <laughs> Your Ganondorf may get out. I'm just kidding. I don't I don't really like know what's up with that. I, I never really played against Ganondorf. The um I as a Kirby main hate playing against sword characters. <laughs> Any character that has, like, reach like that is, like, my counter. I can't fucking play against them. I think I mained Samus and Snake were my two mains back when I used to play. Oh, I see. I don't think I've ever played as Snake. He came out, like, way after I, uh, I would, like, play that game. Yeah, I played him back when he had ass. <laughs> He got that dumpy. But they nerfed him like they nerfed. They nerfed the Spartans in Halo Infinite. Back in pre-release in Brawl, someone posted a topic on a forum claiming to confirm Ganondorf and it had a, a link in the thread instead of the snuff content. What the fuck? Okay, that... L mods, I guess. L mods, yeah. I have not... Yeah, I didn't see that. That's, that's funny. And you, uh, a moly just reincarnated. I don't think we've decided what's going to be up with Vermoli. A moly. He's evil, so yeah. He's a slower Captain Falcon. Snake or Ganondorf? You play the hell out of Melee back in the day. I think your main was Roy and Rob. Oh my god, yo, dude. Melee is where it's at. Melee is what I would grew up playing. I've played, like I mentioned, I did play, like, the older one, like, the N64 one, but Melee was, uh, Melee is the one that we liked a bunch when we were kids, because we had a GameCube! GameCube! What did I even play on my GameCube? I played, obviously, Animal Crossing. I played Eternal Darkness. wasn't very good at it. Still never beaten it. I am the Eternal uh, Darkness. Yeah, I can tell by your aesthetic. Um, yeah. I played the Wallace and Gromit. Project Zoo, and I think Curse of the Warrior Rabbit. I think I'm going to play that one on Xbox. I played... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think so hard. I had other games. Uh, I, there was a Spyro game that I played. Wait, on which console? You know what, let me just look. GameCube. It, it was either yeah. then... It was probably either Year of the Dragonfly or, Dra or Hero's Tale. Might have been near the dragon, but that sounds familiar. Let me look. I have I have my like Wii and GameCube games in a cabinet over here on one of my drawers. Hell yeah. Let me, let me just we look we played a Hero's Tale. That's the one that we were. I played. We rented Year of the Dragonfly at one point. So I played like a little bit of that one. But Hero's Tale, I was like obsessed with. I mentioned it a few times. I mentioned this a few times on stream before. But uh, Hero's Tale, I was so fucking close to 100%ing that game. I was like 97% completed, and then my game file corrupted. Lost Kingdoms 2! I played Lost Kingdoms 2 a lot. I loved that game. Wasn't good at it, but I loved playing it. Yeah. That's not a Spyro game, is it? 
Or is that no, just a different, different game? game? Oh, okay, okay. A whole different game. I, I saw the disc in here. I'm like, oh my god, I remember that game. Oh, Ganondorf is a reskin. Okay. Oh, Ganondorf being a clone version of an already made moveset is still sad. Yeah. It sucks when they do that instead of making up a new character set. Oh, you've been a Bowser main I since Melee. Bowser's like hard. Bowser's hard for me, dude. I can't do slow characters. I hate playing slow characters in, like, any game. I'm gonna go uh, throw my trash away real quick. I'll be back in a, a minute. Yee. Falcon and Fox or Mario and Doc Mario and Luigi. Okay, Dr. Mario existing is so unnecessary. <laughs> it is so unnecessary. Hold on, I'm actually gonna get some coins. Some rings, I apologize. I'm going to be getting some rings. Because if I want to buy the, uh, the mask thing for Zack, that thing's like 10k rings and I only have like 30k. Wait, is Lost Kingdom a, uh, a FromSoft game? Kioku? I saw your message. Oh my god. Whee! Yo, hey Pyre, what's up? I see you! You like slow characters because you're slow! <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to read chat. And, uh... Oh my god, I didn't mean to- Fuck. I didn't mean to lick over the button, oh god! I spun out. I'm so- I'm still, even after all this time, really uh, annoyed that I have to use I'm a back. fucking Xbox controller instead of my GameCube one that I grew up playing this game with. But oh well, it works. It's just hard to hit the buttons properly. Oh my god, I was not paying attention. Jeez Louise. Imagine being seen. Get seen, idiot. Oh my god. Ugh. What's so annoying about this is that, like, in the GameCube one, the go button is just the big A button in the center, and then the boost is the Y button, which you can easily hit while your hand is already on the big A button. You just hit it with, like, the tip of your finger. Uh, for this one, the go button is the bottom button, and then the boost button is the top button. So it's really, really hard to hit the boost button while still holding down the go button. And if you let go of the go button for a second, you do this. You zoom. And then you run into fucking walls. You drift. There we go. Yeah, get hit, car. Vehicular manslaughter simulator. Did I hear that Sky was back? Did you say something? I did say something. Hello, something. I did in fact say I am back or I returned or some variation of that phrase. Oh, okay. There was a second one. Yeah, there's a... Kyoko didn't know there was a second... Was it Lost Kingdom you said it was called? Lost Kingdoms 2, yes. It's a, it's a FromSoft game? No, I don't know oh. who made it. Oh, Kyoku said it was a FromSoft game. Is it a FromSoft game? Where do I get up? Unless he's thinking of a different Stop. game that's Lost Kingdoms. Lost Kingdoms Was it just extra added to the end of development because they had some extra time but not enough for a full... Character. Oh my god, it is a FromSoft game! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you kept running up walls, you had to rebind your controls. Oh god. I Listen tried rebinding my controls in this game, uh, but it made it so my controller didn't work. That was The first couple times I played this game on stream, they had like the technical difficulties and I had to start like 15 minutes later or something like that. Because um, the first time... I actually so, something was weird the first time and I couldn't get it to work. Then the another time because I tried rebinding my controls to make it more like a GameCube controller because the GameCube controller I needed like weird drivers or something to get it to work with the adapter and I just didn't feel like having to deal with that. And then I couldn't rebind the controls because for some reason that just deactivated my controller entirely if I tried rebinding them in Steam. So, oh well, I'm stuck with regular default fucking Xbox setup. But I managed, because I'm just so good at video games. I'm so good at video games, I'm sorry. I'm getting closer! 
My game, game controls froze. were pretty. What? GameCube. What the fuck are you talking about, Wolf? GameCube controllers are the best controllers. You are incorrect. You are the only person that I have ever seen not vouch for GameCube controllers. The best controller? I don't know. A good controller? Yes. No, they're the best controller. That fucking C stick is tidy. What? A little, like, yellow thumbstick. And? This is kind of weird. I mean, it's not doesn't feel super comfortable on my thumb. How many games use the C stick? I not don't a know, lot the of the games that I use would use the C stick. I mean, it's still part of the controller. I mean, I it's guess still, so. Going to be used. Oh, I didn't mean to do this right now. Oh man, I'm gonna knock. This is not gonna be star quality food. I mean, also the fact oh, are you playing Paleo? Yeah. Get Paleo, idiot. I need to harvest my tomatoes. Ooh, I might. I might. It's gonna be pretty close. Oh, first time uh, had fresh Damn fruit. Oh, yeah. I also had issues the first time with um, the volume for some reason. The volume mixer was not behaving, and the game was really loud, and there was no in-game uh, volume slider because this was a fucking GameCube game. And so it was super loud and it has the same audio thing as Discord on my thingy. And then for some reason, Discord is not what controlled the Discord voice chat's volume. OBS controlled the Discord chat's volume for some reason on the slider. So I had to figure out that that's a thing. And it was just really obnoxious. I remember that part. But that wasn't this game's fault. That was my audio mixer slash OBS's fault for some reason. <laughs> oh, trying to play a fighting game on the system that wasn't Smash on the system was straight pain. I've never tried to play a fighting game, I don't think, that wasn't Smash on a GameCube controller. You've got to take... Oh. How, how be appliance, cowman, furry, hollow bones, spoon, eldritch horror. Hello! Who? Sky, did you even come back? Or did you just play an exit sound? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, hello? My whole shit died. <laughs> oh! My whole internet just, like, died. Uh, R.I.P. my star quality food, I guess. Um, I am using my phone hotspot right now. <laughs> until, until such time as my thing reconnects. What, yeah, it really Whenever helps that will be. when the audio and inputs behaving really help Ephio. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Sir? Are you having a stroke? My chat has not I reconnected, I guess. Like... I don't have to reconnect the chat. I will mind you. I'm observing you and your mistakes, Kyoku. And use the D-pad for fighting? Oh, really? I don't... I... What the fuck do... It's been so long since i played a fighting game. Because I don't like fighting games. I'm trying to remember what I... No, I would use the D-pad for... Some... Games? I know I would use... The D-pad for, like... Oh my god, what did I even use it for? I know I've used D-pad for fighting games before, because whenever I would do quarter circles, I would get, like, blisters on my hands from the D-pad. What I need to do, I need to go get more of the, uh, the doohickey schmickies. The, the cow, uh, bone dogs. Bone dogs. Or whatever they are. Oh yeah, Soul Calibur. I remember my friend used to really be into Soul Calibur, I think. It's been a long time. That was when I was a kid. No, wait, Soul Calibur, is that the one? I think my current friend... Uh, is obsessed with Soul Calibur. Some specific Soul Calibur. And he, like, brags about being really good at the game. Except he only... He, he brags about being really good at the game with one specific character 
who is a completely busted character. Soul Calibur 4, yeah. Yeah, Ghost Boy is like super obsessed with playing the one character who's like extremely busted and is convinced that <laughs> playing an extremely busted character makes you good at the video game. Because I have seen him play as that character. And that is not being good at the video game. That is spamming one move that will just fling you off the map. I can't remember the character's name. Sent to three console games each had exclusive characters. Link, Yoda. Yoda? Wait, hold yeah, on. Yoda was in one of them, yeah. Wait, babe, in what? Oh, in Soul Calibur? Soul Calibur. Oh my god, for some reason I thought we were still talking about Smash, and I was like, what? Yoda, my favorite Smash character. But you really said you couldn't put the the lizard man in a maid costume in Soul Calibur, Zags? Seeing him do it blind does show he knows how to play the game well. I have beat people blindfolded in um, fighting games too. That does not necessarily mean that you can play the game well. Yeah, fun fact, I have beaten people blindfolded <laughs> in All-Star Battle. <laughs> So Calibur 2 was Link. I think that's the one that we played as kids, or my friend played as kids. Because my friend was, like, obsessed with Link. Like, she had a huge crush on Link from a Zelda. Doing all those combos that he does normally? Yeah, I would do that blindfolded. All you have to do is know the, um the order of the buttons for the combos you do. You don't have to see to do a combo. Unless maybe I'm just built different and I'm good at fighting yeah, most games. Most people don't, don't look at their controller when they're good enough at the game to not have to worry about it. It's just called knowing the character, man. Yeah, dude, nobody... Okay, you have to be weird if you do look at your controller when you play a video game. Well, if you look at your controller at a fighting game, you're not only gonna screaming, you're gonna you're gonna get hit. <laughs> Come here, you. you stupid bitch. In three, do you do? I don't know, dude. It sounds like you're coping. It sounds like I don't know. It's kind of weird. That... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I have seen him play. I have seen him play that character. I don't think that's called being good at the game. <laughs> Fun stream idea? Play games blindfolded? I actually had like a thing for that. Uh, me and Oracle did a thing once where he handed me a, um, handed me a controller to like Persona 5 or something like that. And was like, hey, here's the controller to Persona 5. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it's so cute, he's a child. And would tell me where to go, and I would just hit the buttons while he, uh, instructed me or something like that. Or maybe it was in reverse. One of us was blindfolded, the other one was telling us where to go. And I'm like, that oh. would make a f stupid fun stream or something. But <laughs> that would have to be a, um,. Like a, like a, a in-person thing, I think. Yeah, if you have to look at your controller in a fighting game, you're lost before you even start. Exactly. To be fair, if you were raised on Nintendo, then about 25, you got a PlayStation for the first time. You have zero muscle memory for the face button icons. Sounds similar to what was already happening with Yakuza. Eh? Link is a himbo? Link is a himbo? What? I mean, I fucking- I love- I love Link. Dude, I love Link. Hell yeah. I'm so fucking tired. Fly, your fly is ass. I think Stanley already has an S-fly. Does he? God, your stats fucking suck. Holy shit. Why are you so mean to him? 
don't know what you're talking about. Bro didn't do nothing to deserve this. He We're was going just born to the this store. way. Train him. He has good uh, fly. His fly is max. All of his, all of his um, stats. What was I gonna say? All of his ability points went into his fly. Between the three main console makers, the X button has been on every single one of the four face buttons at one point in time. Yeah, I play. That that was my issue with. United um, by the X button. I was. That was my issue with uh uh the the Xbox controller that I have because I didn't really have an issue with the um uh going from Nintendo to PlayStation because they're very different setups, so I'm not going to confuse the buttons on where they are. But when um I got this Xbox controller, which is actually, I think, a Lafka Dios, uh, for streaming, then I was starting to get confused because the setup is the same, but the numbers slash symbols are different. But no, going from, like, a GameCube controller oh, yeah. to a... Uh, to a PlayStation controller was not like difficult because they're so very different. You're not gonna miss mix up which button goes where when the buttons are not in the same spots, you know. Hmm. Hmm. NES Famicom didn't have an X button; it only had A and B. <laughs> Did I? Hmm. Fuck. Which is the one I played? I played. I don't think it- it wasn't Famicom. My maybe- actually, maybe it was an Atari. I can't remember. It was the- I either played in one of the S- uh, NES or SNES, or an Atari. I know I've played Atari games before. God, I can't remember. It's been- it's been a while, man. I'm just gonna start giving you this. Get given, idiot. It is the season of giving, and it is for you. Give you a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Whoo, I hunger. I wonder what this is gonna turn him into. Ooh, it makes his run go up the most quickly, but I don't know, because this is not actually a run animal, I don't think. This is one of the weird, like, neutral animals that I don't know what their deal is. Maybe he's just good at running. He's just gonna zoom. I mean, it's a dog. Dogs are good at running. I, I guess it's a dog. I guess it's a dog. Bone dog. No! He consumed him. You fool. No! Don't eat the bone dog. Munchy crunchy. Put him Dude, in the with happy your home academy mates. gave my home an A rank. The Happy Home Academy? In Animal Crossing. I'm playing Animal Crossing. They gave me an A. There's a Happy Home Academy? Yeah, they rent your house. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. You're, you're, you're interior decorating. I changed nothing. I got a B last time. Maybe they just dig me now. Is that a snail? I'm gonna catch you. There are some like really fancy Animal Crossing islands and houses and stuff that I've seen. I had, um... Uh, b -b 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 in New Leaf, which is the Animal Crossing I played, my house was like ocean themed. It was like all the seashell things, because there was like a whole se seashell interior design set. And I'm like, holy shit, dude. <laughs> I need yeah, the seashells. Really about that. So was city, city folk. Um, I don't have a lot of furniture. I'm not that far in the game, to be honest with you. Um, I have like, how much money do I have? I have like 78,000 bells. I've not spent it on anything except clothes. <laughs> Wait, the original Zelda, you needed a microphone? Huh? Who said the Able Sisters have? You got any good selection of clothes for me today? I have so many clothes. I would, uh... Do you, do you have, like, the custom clothes things? Because I would do, like, the yeah, custom, you custom clothes. Feel That's... free to, like, fucking take my Switch and just make custom clothes for me. I I would... I'm not an artist. Hell um, But I do yeah. have to go to Able Sisters and just go to the changing room, or the fitting room. I just see like what, everything they have. They have a lot of like repeat stuff a lot of the time. Um, but sometimes there's some good things in there. What is this? Viking top? Oh, this shirt. I used to have this on my other character. Yeah, I made a uh, shirt. I made my new the leaf character. Is. I mean, I, I made a few different outfits, but I made my new leaf character, uh, Komaida, 
from Donkin Ropa. I made him the, uh, his outfit, and then I gave him, like, the white hair. But I made it, like, the bedhead hair. Because if you don't play for too long, uh, when your character oh, yeah. wakes up, your hairs are, like, messy and fluffy. So I would give him that because it looked closest because none of the other hairstyles <laughs> matched. Yeah. Dude, they got fucking tuxedos now. Shit. Yo, you can be oh, fucking dapper. Dude. They got like the, they got a white coat. They got like an all kind of uh, red one, an orange one, yellow, like teal, blue, purple, and brown. Who would I feel like interior design expert? I'm actually not good at interior design. I'm actually quite have, bad at it. If I have the resources to do interior design, I'm really good at it. If I don't, then it, I, I don't bother. Are you giving a cow to a moly? Uh, I, cause I have this one here and it doesn't matter what he turns into. Uh, uh, as long as he doesn't turn into a fly, it's whatever. <clears throat> if he turns into a fly, then, you know, that would be kind of annoying because his fly is already maxed. But if he turns into a different one, it, it's whatever, because none of his stats are high enough that I need them specifically to be higher, you know? Fucking word socks, aren't I? When it came Here over to the west, they removed the microphone requirement from Zelda, though. Oh, since it didn't keep built a microphone. Gotcha, gotcha. Why would, what would you use the microphone for? Why That's would you need that? <laughs> I mean, do you remember, did you play Spirit Tracks? No, you didn't play any Zelda games. In Spirit no, Tracks... I played a bit of Wind Waker. I played oh, a bit really? of Majora's Mask. I, a bit. I wasn't very good at it. Oh, okay. um, like, I, was, I wasn't good at any game back then. Um... I got lost really easily, but I still had fun. Um, so I played those. I played. I had the classic collection, the one that had like the Wind Waker demo on it. I had that. Um, so I played all the ones on that. Not very much, but mm -hmm. uh, not enough to say that. Oh yeah, I played a Zelda game. Yeah, because I um, talk to Sable in Spirit Tracks. Because in like a lot of Zelda games, you get an instrument. Like there, there's just kind of an instrument in every Zelda game, sort of. And the instrument in Spirit Tracks is a pan flute. And you actually have to blow into your microphone to play the pan flute oh. on the DS. Oh, that's, that's, I like that. It's yeah. a fun novel concept. Staff uniform? Oh, I should buy one of those. I like. Ooh, the blue one looks kind of nice. Oh, you could blow the into Viking the top. I really to like off some monsters that were more vul vulnerable to sound. Oh, that's cute. That's fun. Get a worker jacket. It reminds jacket me of like uh, when we would play Donkey Konga. And, uh, in Donkey Konga, where there's a, uh, you're a flute, no! Why would you say that to me? But uh, in Donkey Konga, you got the bongo drum. So you got left bongo, right bongo, and then clapping. And then we figured out as kids, um, <laughs> when we figured out that clapping, you don't actually literally have to clap. It just picks up sound. It picks up any kind of sound. So... Uh, instead of having to, like, switch our hands between bongo bongo and then clapping, we would just either say the word clap out loud, so we would pick up that instead, and we didn't have to change from bongos. And, uh, and the, um, there's holds. Kind of like holds, I guess. Where it'll be a long one, and you have to, like, spam one bongo, spam the other bongo, or spam clapping, or whatever. We would just go, ah For the, yeah, uh, scream. the spamming clapping, because it's just a constant stream. Of sound, <laughs> and it like super made our score go up. It was a good That's time. That's funny. Yeah. Donkey Kong mentioned Donkey Konga. That was like my first rhythm game, and I still I still love it. It's it's fun. I haven't played it in forever, obviously. Gotta go back to college tomorrow. Oh, were you on break? Did you have? A, was there some kind of break going on? Or is it just like in the middle of the week you had a, um, because it's, oh, it's the weekend, isn't it? Oh, it's the weekend. You probably, yeah, I gotta go, gotta go back to school. Oh, man. Yeah, school sucks. Oh, break for two weeks. Oh, shit. Is there like some kind of British holiday going on? Or did you just happen to have like a break at this point? Bakshi's challenge legit required you to sing an entire song to progress in the game, which was quite unique, though the game was made as a challenge to games by someone who didn't like games. <laughs> oh, you have SATs tomorrow? Oh shit, good luck, Silver. Yeah, so I was talking about that earlier. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
They'll do fine. Oh, don't worry Easter about holiday. it. Oh, I don't think we have fossil. Easter. Do we have Easter break here? I haven't been in school in over yeah. a decade, so I don't know. Yeah, we get Easter break. I think we get like the day off or something. I don't remember how much it was. Okay. Apparently, Pyre, they get two weeks. Thanksgiving, a week for two weeks for Christmas. Yeah, I know there's there's winter break, I th or like Christmas break, I guess is what it's called. Uh, back in high school. Uh, why can't I pick you up? Are you dead? Fuck. I say to the the little literal skeleton creature, "Are you dead?" Oh, there we go. Where did you go? There you are. Come here, you stinky little creature. Boop. I you love Cranston break? and Animal Crossing. Oh, there's spring break? Yeah, I think we just get like... Oh no, we don't get an Easter br Easter off because Easter's on Sunday, so we wouldn't have school anyway. So I guess we do have like a spring break, question mark? I can't remember. We do have the week for spring break, yeah. We do a week for spring break. Worry about I remember because... I think it was during Hurricane Harvey, I think it was. Um, we got an, we got an entire extra week off because of the flooding. We called it Spring Break 2. Isn't Spring Break where all the girls go to the beach and give their tops away? Uh, if you're in college. So we're talking to a high schooler right now? Uh, no, Wolf is, Wolf is older than me, actually. Well, I'm talking about like silver. Oh, for We're silver, okay. It. Wait, hold on, did somebody just evolve? What the fuck? Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't even notice! Ah! There's so many weeds. There's someone on my island that like, I want to tell them to not stay here, but I don't yes. want to tell them not to stay here. I don't want to be mean to them. Zach. <laughs> Zach is evolving. Zach, he has evolved. I love Dark Swim Chow. I, they're so cool looking. I love they're like the black and like tealish greenish and how they, they got like the big spikes on the back of their head. It's so cool. I love those guys. What are your stats? Okay. Oh, you saw you to me. Zach, what if I bring you here? Will they have the 10k thing for you if I bring you here yourself? No, they only have the stupid orange one. I hear committing eugenics to get the all S rank chow. It's all you ever heard with spring break throughout your spring break throughout your youth. Yeah, that is like what people. Bro, where do you get your knowledge to. from movies? <laughs> yeah, like that. I have never gone to LMG spring break hot girl summer uh kind of thing. Coachella. I don't know what other stupid fucking spring break shit is there. That wasn't really like a thing here. That's- I feel Much like that's here mostly- either, to be fair. I think that's mostly like a media thing. That's a Hollywood thing, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it actually is a thing, like it happens and everything. Coachella and whatever's a real thing, I think. But, um, that it, it, it's not particularly like that in most places. Don't imagine anyone here would have seen it. Would have seen what? Wait. Oh, um, like, like the, the, the Hollywood spring break, uh, scene. Oh. What is that? What are you? Are you a leaf hopper or are you a mantis? No, you're a leaf hopper. Imagine being caught in flooding. Wait, did somebody say something about flooding? Oh, how I had a second spring break because it was flooding really badly during Hurricane Harvey. Oh, right, right, right. And that was fine. I didn't get any damage at all in my house. I, I, I got lucky. But also, we buy houses not in the floodplain, so we avoid this issue entirely. Yeah, we don't have flooding here, really. I mean, I guess we do, but not where I am because I I live in, like, a high, a higher up. Al I have, like, hills and stuff kind of thing so we higher don't the flood, yeah. yeah we are higher elevation so the flood the water flows down <laughs> and does not bother us yeah there's different like tables for like flooding um elevation, but yeah, due yeah, to the elevation tables and stuff so like you know like oh like every hundred years old flood or every 50 years or 200 years or something dumb like that so you can tell like you know what your likelihood of getting flooded isn't 
due to the nature of the work that I do, uh, I am privy to certain information like that to look forward to look at when buying a house, which I will not do for a very long time. Thanks, economy. Uh -huh. Yeah, thanks, economy. Uh, yo, I got a pyramid from a oh, fucking a balloon. Let's Coachella go. Until you played its creative map in Fortnite <laughs> with your BF. <laughs> That's a sentence. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know they had a Coachella map in Fortnite. A shopping plaza a couple towns away from the constantly flood. Oh, from me constantly floods every year to the point that all but a long John Silver's moved their business out of it. Shit, really? I Damn. mean, yeah, I'd imagine so. It keeps fucking flooding. That's yeah, a lot of money like, just down the drain. But, like, that sucks that they built it, like, right there <laughs> where it floods every yeah. year. Did they not realize that beforehand? Was there you no, like, gotta... prior, f prior flood um, uh, documentation in that area? That'd be funny if it was like a curse, the Indian curse, like to uh the fucking flood every single time. Where they like like in uh God, what was it, The Exorcist, where they built it over like fucking Indian burial ground. Oh! Indian burial ground. Another bone dog. Let's go. He's dead. I threw him and he clipped through the ground. Then why would you throw him? Because usually they don't clip through Monster. the fucking ground. Monster, you demon. It's okay, he survived. The devil. He's fine. Demon devil. Devil demon. Only city. Oh, it's next to the dam that doesn't seem to do its job well enough, it seems. And the city is too lazy to fix things. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Or just give me a jock uniform for returning her lost item. A, Thanks, a, but a, a jockey? What? Like a horse jockey, horse rider. Gave you a horse jockey? Like an actual living person horse jockey? A uniform. Jockey? Oh. A uniform. The outfit. <laughs> Not the person. Okay, I'm like, this, this, this is this a happening? Jockey I'm uniform. pretty sure it's 2024 right now. I don't think you can do that. Animal Crossing. <laughs> do a modded Animal Crossing? What the fuck? What? Modded Animal Crossing. Can you beat up your villagers in modded Animal Crossing? Challenge them to a boxing match. I gift to you this person I stole. Let's go, KK Samba! KK Samba? I don't have as much. I, I need to like log on every just to buy the like the whatever KK music is available at the time. I have Comrade KK, Forest Life, Hypno KK, KK Flamenco, Folk, Gumbo, Samba, Pondering, Space KK, and Wandering. I actually used to have a, a, a guy book for Animal Crossing City Folk, which had all the uh, KK songs on it. Like all the codes. You, you, could, you could request music from him if you knew the code for it. Oh. And sometimes he'd be like, oh, I didn't know you did the code for it. You must be a real fan. I'm like, yes, I am. Aww, that's cute. I mean, I really need to, I need to, I need to, I really need to add Animal Crossing to like my list of like, favorite uh, franchises. KK Death Metal Just... when, yo. You could probably do it. Has people, have people like made that? Probably. Fuck yeah. Okay, I can look it up on YouTube right now. Let's see. Do it. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. YouTube. Uh. KK Death Metal. KK Death on stage is one of the- <laughs> KK Death on stage, what? <laughs> There is KK Metal from New Horizons. Uh, what, what are you? Let me listen to you. What? Are you what? Like? This one's called KK Metal. Let's see. He's got his acoustic guitar though, so like, how's this gonna work? Ah, uh, you can pull it off, I'm sure. I'm, if anyone can do it, KK Sly can do it. Did you guys know the Cha Cha Slide guy is dead? Yes. <laughs> Were you who I was talking to that to? I think so. Okay. Oh my god, he's fucking sick with it. No, I think it was Oracle. I was talking about that with Oracle, I know that. Because I uh, I was talking with him, I'm like, OMG, did you know that the fucking Cha-Cha slide has, like, extra parts now? 
Because the cha-cha slide is, um, it's longer now than it was when I was a kid, I think. Uh, oh, you bitch. And, um, what's a cha-cha slide? I'm going to pretend you didn't say that, Kyoku. I think you said it last time, because I remember you talked yeah. about this before. Yeah, because we talked about this last before, time and you said it last time, so I'm not going to acknowledge you saying that again. Everyone is dying this year. I think he actually died last year. I think it was like August or something. Sometimes toward, towards the end of last year he died. Damn, he's fucking sick with yeah, it. No, uh, wolf. Kyoku lived under a rock, so Kyoku knows nothing about the world. He didn't watch Dragon Ball, though, so he's okay in my book. <laughs> I'm putting KK Metal in the music tab. Hell yeah. Uh, Where... KK Metal, but it's legit awesome thrash metal. Is this like a cover? Yeah, it's a cover. The bane of all gym students? What? You didn't like the cha-cha slide? Were you too weak for the fucking cha-cha slide? Dude, everyone loved the cha-cha. We, we were taught like the Cotton Eye Joe and the cha-cha slide. And we loved that shit, dude. How can you hate the cha-cha slide and the Cotton Eye Joe? Stage select. I mean, you also don't like the GameCube controller, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, this cover goes obscenely hard. An extreme introvert and hate dancing in front of people? Imagine being an introvert. Everyone's fucking dancing. I mean, I'm an introvert. But, like, everyone danced to the cha-cha slide. Are you an and introvert? And the Cupid Shuffle. Yeah. The Cupid Shuffle was not a thing. Thing when I was a kid, I don't think. Here, I'll look up when the look up when the can you look up what the Cupid Shuffle came out? Because we did not learn the Cupid Shuffle. I didn't learn that until I was like an adult. Ah, Cupid Shuffle come out. Let's see. Oh, 2007. Oh. Yeah, that, that explains it because that's back when I was a kid. And you were. I was a... not dancing in school gym anymore. <laughs> huh. That's weird, because I was still in school at that time. I just never encountered oh, yeah, the right. Cupid Shuffle until I was older. I mean, I didn't exactly do line dancing in the school gym past elementary school either, so I mean, you know. Oh, the song is great, not... but being forced to dance in public, you're hey. I guess I can see that. If you're really, or if you're like embarrassed about dancing, even though everybody else is also dancing around you, then I can see that, yeah. I just fucking love dancing. <laughs> So I never had any issues with that. I was also never an introvert, so... I didn't have that debuff. Wiggle wiggle! Dude, I bet the Cuban Shovel sounded like this. <laughs> you don't remember the- wait, what? I haven't heard the song since elementary school. I'm looking oh. at it now. I'm like, I forgot it sounded like this. It's not a very good song. <laughs> Do the shuffle. <laughs> oh yeah. Here we go. No, that 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 that's not the Cupid Shuffle. That's the Cleveland Shuffle. But yeah, <laughs> I've heard the Cupid Shuffle a decent amount of times because they play it at line dancing sometimes. For the people who don't know actual line dances, they'll play like the Cupid Shuffle. They play the Cha Cha Slide a few times, which is really funny. What are your stats for the castle? Wait, where's Stanley? Stanley, aren't you up here somewhere? Oh, there you are. You're hiding behind here again. Let me see what your... Uh... Okay, it's flying power that you have as S. Swim and... My fucking mortgage is 348,000 bells. What am I doing buying cake games? Because I gotta be fucking bug catching. What is this? <laughs> I got 99k in the savings, though. Let's go. Oh god, I can't okay. remember if I paid off my house or not. I played like a whole lot of it. A whole lot of it. Uh, my mom did all the yeah. time. My mom was cracked at Animal Crossing. She's the best Animal Crossing player I know. She doesn't even play that. She plays like super casually. That's funny. My mom is shockingly good at the video games that she grew up playing. She, My mom is a gamer, she just isn't allowed to game. What? Why? Too much work. 
She's not I mean, she allowed she can to game. Now. I love that she's not allowed to, but she's have a lot of work. But now instead of gaming, she just watches K dramas on TV. <laughs> I bought and her she a Switch. Squid she Game. Has it. Yes, probably. Fuck yeah! I actually like Squid she, Game, except the last she's uh, episode. That's watching a like K drama version of Parasite right now. Parasite? Hold on. Do Parasite, you mean the, the anime? Movie, do you mean the movie Parasite? Because there is like a Korean movie called Parasite. I, I don't know. I'm not sure it was a movie or shit, series. I didn't ask. I just asked, hey, mom, what you watching? Oh, Parasite. Like like the cartoon. I'm like, oh. Okay, because huh. there is. Because there is. There's, yeah, no, the, the anime uh, Parasite, which I watched, which was, oh, was alright. And, um. Uh, and then there's some, like, Korean movie called Parasite that does not have to do with Parasite, the anime. Unless they made a serious version of it in Korea afterwards based on the anime. They could have, yeah. I would not know. They could have. Because my mom did specify I liked the cartoon. Oh, Jimmy was a fun class for you otherwise. You love playing volleyball and badminton. I don't think we've played badminton in gym class. We played volleyball, though. We played a bunch of I'm so good at badminton. Of course, I've actually... Okay, I'm really good at badminton except serving. I'm dog water at serving badminton. I just I'm, can't just save my life, serve it. I think like, I've played a, I, I tennis serve it. like <laughs> once or twice. We, I was in the tennis club. I was good at serving. I was never good at hitting the ball back, though. They couldn't rally it? Yeah. I mean, that's fair. It's a tough skill. I could um, okay, I could kind of do the forehand swings. I could not do backhand. Backhand I was like the worst thing for me. There are two different kinds of backhands. You could do like the one-handed but two-handed backhand. Um, the two-handed is like the more preferred, like popular one, but there are other ways of doing it. Yeah. I learned it's just the fucking swinging motion of swinging forward is easier than swinging like yeah. across and backward, you know. Yeah, I mean, people, different people have different strengths and stuff in tennis. I used to be pretty good at a tennis. Oh um, my I God, took lessons, but I didn't. I didn't stay that long. I didn't take lessons because I hated practicing. What did Hogan say? Okay, so, so just to make sure, because you never asked, line dancing is literally people making a conga line and dancing, right? No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, don't, don't listen to, don't listen to Sky. That is not what line dancing is. Yeah, you literally, you, like, you get up, like, in, like, three or four lines, you, like, join hands and fucking kick and shit. You move around, you, you twirl occasionally, you spin. <laughs> Uh, you maybe you crouch a couple times, you do some steppy steps. Yeah, you're welcome, Hogan. No, I got you. No, that's not what a fucking, that's not what line dancing is. It's dancing in a line, come on. Okay. You're dancing in a line. Okay, so for line dancing. <laughs> uh, no, don't listen to Sky. Um, From the Philistine answer, line dancing. Uh, so, so line dancing is there's a specific set of like moves. It's usually 32 counts. Most line dances that you'll see will be 32 counts. So you'll have four counts of eight beats, and you'll do moves to them, and then. Uh, you'll typically, during that sequence, you will turn 90 degrees in one direction, and then repeat the sequence in that one, and then just turn 90 degrees, repeat the sequence over and over again. So it's just the same little sequence of moves over and over again to a song, and a lot of the time, and people just do it on the dance floor in like, they can do it in lines. If you sit up in a line, because everyone's moving in the same direction at the same time, you just kind of stand in lines, or just in a big clusterfuck, which is kind of what happens a lot of the time also. But yeah, I'm not really sure why it's called line dancing, <laughs> other than I guess you can do it in a line. But it's not about being in a line. <laughs> I caught a cherry salmon. Oh it's the God. perfect topper for a marlin sundae. Animal Crossing is the store until your house is paid off? Yeah, the um, I think oh. I did pay my house off at some point in Animal Crossing. Like, fuck, I just lost my fucking vision rod. I hate this game. I hate this game. There I fucking hate the graphic games. system. That's exactly Hogan. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what That's it's what all, all about. about. Oh my god. Okay. Standing in the line and turning around you. slowly. Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that, that's there. exactly what it is. You're, you're, you're right, Wolf. That is the, the, the official definition of line dancing. When I go line dancing every Friday, we're just sitting there in a line and do, rotating very, very slowly. Good for meditation. Yep, we non-blinking. 
Our feet aren't even moving. We are just rotating against the ground. Blueberry, you're fucking acting like you just discovered something incredible. You're making a goddamn cardboard table. I don't want to... You know what? Sure, yeah, teach you to make it. <laughs> Horns! DIY look at them guru, this go. bitch. They're, they're doing it. They're playing Mind with dancing? Where the lines are optional. Yeah, I mean, if it's like a big crowd, then typically you will have like a few lines. Some people might be in between the lines. But just so people aren't like squishing into each other. So there's some sort of, um, um, uh, oh my god, what is the word? Arrangement. What what's neat? What's neatness? What's another word for neat? Or organized organization? There we go. Just so there's some sort of organization. But if it's like only a few people know the dance, if only a few people know the dance, then they just kind of take whatever spot on the dance floor that they feel like, you know, because you don't need the cohesion. But yeah, it's a it's fun. It's good exercise. This game. When you finish paying off your yeah. house at Animal Crossing, the next time you leave the house, you see a sign on the ground saying the real Dark Souls starts now. Dude, Animal Bro, Crossing, but a Souls to like. I'd fuck up Dark Souls and Animal Crossing. I'm good at both of these games. Be funny. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I kind of want to try speedrunning Elden Ring. Um. There's only a few things I need to like learn, which is like where all the somber locations are, the ones you just pick off the ground. Cause you can get one through four from EG and Lyrnia, which you can skip Gobby to get to that, but you know, fucking who gives a shit. Get the Star Fists from the Coliseum in Lane Dell, get Crag Blade from Kaled, the eight and nine are in Kaled, the six and seven I think are in Volcano Manor. Uh, five? I don't know where the five is, but like I just need to like know how to get to them quickly. But like, on God, like the main bosses aren't really all that hard if you know how to build properly. So I could do it. It wouldn't be too terribly difficult. I could do it. Where the fuck are the trees? No! Oh, no! no, I saw it too late! What happened? No, Guag, I'm sorry! The Guag's round. No, 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 no. Um, if, Gua if, if one of the Chow is flying and it runs into you while you're flying, uh, it counts as them getting injured and gets bonked away. Oh no, you hurt him. He ran into me while I was flying! You monster, you're supposed it wasn't to be aware! Me. You're supposed to be aware on the road. <laughs> Maybe he was the one who wasn't aware on the road. That I'm the larger matter. vehicle. You have to also... Okay, I think he's fine. I think he's fine. He's 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 not I crying. Got my extra tree branch. I can fucking make my flimsy fishing rod. Video game. I mm, I love. Okay, I love New Horizons as an Animal Crossing game. I think it's a fantastic video game. I hate the crafting Don't system. No, stop crying. I hate, I hate that I have to craft my fucking tools. Don't even have a couple in the server who fight like your siblings. Jesus Christ. Tell them that they need to stop fighting or they're getting banned. I know, I didn't eat the child, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. Keep crafting. Excuse me, where's my no, regular Quark, fishing I rod? love you, Quark. I love you, Quark. I need an iron nugget. Do I have one in my house? You're I have one in storage. Iron nugget. Thank you. Dude, I could go for some chicken nuggies right now. Chicken nugget. I do like chicken nuggets. Chicken nugget. My storage button. Oh wait, nope, oh, that's the light switch. That nope, that's that's the wrong button. This is the storage button. Okay. You trying to bring the owner of the server online? It's. I feel like it's a little bit strange that they made you a mod since you're a, a teenager. But you know. A child. Yeah. I would not make Let's a. Let's make this fucking fishy rod. <laughs> I would not make a miner a mod in a server. If me personally. Of course it wouldn't be me. I love the way Tell just flies. Like he just looks so fucking done. He looks so dead inside. He just hangs there limp while his tail does all the work. 
Yeah, I love Tails. He was always my favorite when I was a kid. He was my favorite. Did I get a new fish? New fish. Oh, was that a new fish I caught earlier? What the fuck? Hang on. Oh yeah, I have my like. Clarapedia. Oh my god, how many do I still need? I only need like four or six oh, shit, that more was a new fish, fish in um in Palea. Fossils? Do I have three? I'm missing a fossil somewhere. Oh, I'm fucking hungry. I love, I love Animal Crossing fish because like the museum just makes it all worth it to me, you know. Yeah, I mean I'm making my fish room in Palea. In Palea, yeah, for just those who hit the uh, same though. What'd you say? This doesn't hit the same though, you know. Like it's good, it's cool. I love your fish room. But we always go to the the the, the museum at Animal Crossing, just seeing all like the like the exhibits and shit, the pretty layout. Like it's just, yeah. I, I love fishing, but just like I always give my new fish and bugs two blathers first, just to like fill up the museum. Yeah, I it's get that. Best. Oh man, you were shown to be hey, responsible yeah, enough for the role, and we do have adults. Also moderating. You just have to be over 16 to be a mod. Mm. Got like 10 starfishes? Yo, let's go! Slowly getting closey. Yeah, in Paleo, I think there's like 81 fish or something like that. There's a lot of them. And if you... There are certain spots, like one-time fishing spots that'll randomly pop up where you can get a star-ranked fish. And it... If you get like the, uh, the fish... While in that spot, it means you can display it in your house, in like a fish tank. So you have to get the, uh, you, you gotta fish in those spots and hope that RNG blesses you with getting the rare fish that you want. And then you can slap it in your room. And I only have like four, like five or something, five or six fishies that I still need. And they're, they're really rare ones. <laughs> One of them I have not seen a single- or a couple of them I haven't seen a single time. And one of them I found once, but it was impossible to fucking catch. Oh my god. Oh hey bird, what's up? Hello! Welcome back, hello, hello! Hypnotic Is that the fucking moment. squeezy jib- squeeze, squeezy jibs or whatever ball for your profile picture? <laughs> Is that what that fucking is? Over yeah, it was uh, it was definitely something, and uh, it's taken me so long to find it a single time. I don't know if I'm ever gonna catch that dude. Oh fuck! I threw it too close to the fish, and he's not looking at it, which means I'm, if I pull it back, he's gonna disappear. Turn around, oh, come God. on, look at it. Look at the bobber. Oh, oh, are you looking at it? I'm like actually really, really hungry. <laughs> the ball. Take five, bro. Good, good I probably stuff. should, honestly. I got a goldfish. It's worth its weight in fish. Oh, uh, uh, what, what? Uh, Another new fish. A fish. Yeah, the gold, the giant goldfish is one of the fish in Paleo that I have not gotten yet. I have not seen it a single time, and I need to catch two of them. I need to catch two. Because I need one for my room, my fish room, a star version, and then I need another one for a a bundle thing. Bundle. Because they're um kind of like ob objective things, like um uh scavenger hunt kind of things, where you put in a bunch of things that you can find throughout the world. Some of them are super rare, and then you get items or something. I don't I don't remember. I've never filled out an entire constellation, like an entire bundle. Each bundle thing has like four, each, each constellation has like four bundles or something. I filled out individual bundles on some of them, but I've never completed all of them on a single Waiting constellation. Close. I'm getting close on the Temple of Waves. I need one more for the Magic Bundle, I need a long nose Unicorn Fish, and for the Freshwater Bundle, I need the Hydrate Pro for Rise, which I can do in a Giant Goldfish, that's all I need. I yeah, think I'll for that up a one, of waves. I think for that one, all I need is the unicorn fish the and fish. the giant goldfish. Yeah, like I could probably catch them if I just logged on and just like spammed it. Don't get to threaten with the bad hammer, yeah! Silver I man with that. power. Silver is really me maxing right now. That's crazy. Yeah, welcome to my house. Let me show you my fish room, which is actually two rooms. That I had to combine because I ran out of space in the one fish room hallway. for all of my fish. The fish hallway, the fish museum. 
Almost you know like could do is actually you could um... stream. I didn't have time because I woke up an hour before a stream and then I was talking to the people in chat and then I had to get things set up and Imagine then I had to wake up, uh, get ready, and uh, and then I had to. Um, oh my god, what else was I doing? I was in VC for a bit and then I just didn't have time, dude. They're getting too overly passionate about shipping and start- Oh god, no. Get the shippers out of here, How old dude. are they? How old are they? How old are they? No, dude. Shipping is fucking horrible. I hate shippers. I have had people- Um... Dude, uh, oh my god, what was it? Oh yeah, I had this chick stop talking to me because I didn't support her gay crack ship. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They're they're fucking insane. Right. And another chick was like, she got me kicked from a server that I had like a very large role in, and because I didn't like shipping, <laughs> like it it was the stupidest thing. Shippers are fucking, uh, and it's so disrespectful. Shipping is so fucking disrespectful. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Get them out of here. A squid. A squid. I had an inkling I might. An I love inkling? This game. I love a little dumb pun. I had an inkling I might catch a squid. Oh, the uh, yeah, because they always have like puns for the uh. Yeah, little little puns. I love that. I, I almost forgot about that. I love this game. Such a nice relaxing game, except when I miss catching the fish and then I want to <laughs> see the anger. They're too How many fucking sea surprised. bass? One day they will look back on these events with shame. Imagine shipping new characters because your love life sucks. <laughs> I mean, a lot of uh, shippers do it because it's a fucking fetish. Fucking Fujoshis and shit, you know? They have their weird gay, gay fetish. It's just fucking weird, dude. <laughs> Shipping fictional characters itself is fine by itself, but too many people get way too engrossing. I don't think it is. I think it's very disrespectful for the characters and their creators. I do not ship, and I do not approve of people who ship. Unless, like, the creator or whatever is specifically like, yeah, fucking go for it or whatever. But unless you get, like, their express, like, consent or whatever, it's like, don't fuck with other people's characters and stories they put thought into these characters you don't be like oh ha 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 okay but what if i ignore all of the work and lore and story and character growth and relationships that you put into these characters and pick my own instead no fuck you dude it's stupid <coughs> it's super disrespectful the two people involved are dating what the fuck Oh yeah. god. What? Yeah, it's, well, yeah, I think yeah, I think I was mentioned earlier. Oh my god, was it? I didn't mention that part. Oh, I mean I mean yeah, I didn't notice that getting part. Heated over his shipping. Oh right, 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 right. Oh my god, that's Oh sorry, that's Spinosaurus first, let's go. Imagine dating as a teenager. Couldn't be me. Absolutely could not be me. I I date I've been on one date my entire life, and that was in twenty eighteen. How fucking old was I in 2018? 24? 24? Uh, <laughs> Something I met like you. That? No, 25 because you were 26 when I met you? In, let's see, in 2018 I was... Oh my god, I'm actually gonna have to do math. I'm too tired to do math. What am I? That So 2018 was six years ago and I am 29, so I was 23. Never mind that. Are you 24? Or are you 26 when we became friends? That's right. Probably. Yeah, because I didn't start my campaign until I was 24. Because I started at the the very end of 2018. It was like December 28. It was like the a day or two after Christmas of 2018 is when I started my campaign. 
Imagine days have been two. three years by the time that I joined. <laughs> that bridge looking mad lonely. You you could date the witch. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, yeah, uh, you're not dating in as a teen. Honestly, person? doubt person? you'll date in college either. Yeah, definitely. I would not recommend it. I feel like you should be, you know, fully functional. Your like brain isn't even guitar. fully developed until you're like 25. Electric guitar? How much does this cost? 71,000 bells? You're kidding me! I mean, like, in no thinking two characters shot. could be, like, neat together, trying to wrap the char- oh, trying to warp the character to force a ship being a common issue. That is definitely a very common issue. Unfortunately, that's, like, the majority of them. Thinking two characters could be neat together is fine, I suppose, as long as you don't vocalize it. If you keep that shit to yourself, then whatever, I guess. <laughs> Wee Bonk. Cashmina, is, is that just a plate of curry just for sale? Man, imagine dating. Date, dude, that's- well, I've been on one date and it fucking sucked, dude. Holy shit. That was bad. But I dodged a bullet, honestly, on that one. What was awful about that? You said the date's terrible. You never, I don't think you ever said why the date was terrible. Did I never what, what do they do? That? Okay, so- We might have, like, the first time. Uh, you told me that a long time ago. Alright, uh, so quick- just quick run down. Uh, guy asked me out, I said yes for- it would- I normally would not have said yes, but for circumstantial reasons. It was very, like, a bunch of things that led up, and I'm like, okay, yeah, why not, let's go. And, um, so we were supposed to go to walk around the one town, but then it rained, so we couldn't. So then we're like, let's go to the mall instead, and then he- he showed up, and, um, was like, hey, uh, you're- you're gonna be driving, and I'm like, fuck, what? Okay. Because his- he said he didn't want me in his car because it was too dirty or something, and I'm like, I have, like, no gas what in my tank right now, but let's fucking go, I guess. So then it was just me following him around, um, the mall for however fucking long we were there, going to shops that I didn't care about, because he would just, like, take me over to all these places, and I'm like, I have no fucking interest in what's going on here, but alright. And, uh, but I'm like, you know, it's a date, so I'll, you know, I'll, con I'll be considerate and follow him around. Then, um, we ended up having to just sit in the back of my car and, like, talk for a while, and then he had to go home early because his mom called him and said that he needed to go home and wash his dog because he didn't tell his mom that he was going on a date. And I ended up, like, crying at <laughs> what and I'm trying to remember what else it was. Oh, also he was trying to gaslight me into, um, uh, fuck, what is it? He, he didn't want a second date because he found out I wasn't going to fuck him. And started ga trying to gaslight me into thinking that was wrong for some reason. That I, I wasn't going to fuck him. And it's like, what the hell is wrong with you, my guy? Like, it, it was just a terrible, terrible experience. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hi, Ted. Imagine having parents. <laughs> that is horrible. <laughs> Yeah, no, so I'm not particularly interested in, um, in dating. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I feel bad listening to that. Damn, I was sorry I asked. That was so bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Like, I've been on, like, dude, okay could, dates dude, that were like, yeah, you know, no, take it or leave it. Did you come? Oh my god. Not even the comic cards did come. You you always if someone drives you around you pay for gas. That that's the co that's the courtesy thing to do. Yeah. Where was just wanting to smash and try to see if you can like butter you up first. That's all that was. Yeah. Did a terrible job of it though. Imagine. No nope. right. I also found out later that apparently he uh he had cheated on every one of his girlfriends prior to that. So you know also yeah, glad I know. yeah. Mm -hmm. Glad that didn't go through. The mall is definitely not, at least nowadays, not an ideal date location. However, there is the mall. one mall. There is one mall that I would take someone a date on, uh, and it's uh, I think like maybe 45 minutes or an hour away from where I live. But it has a place where, for a dollar, you can play with puppies. <gasps> ah! 
Oh, that's great. <clears throat> Dodge a missile, yeah. We all shall collectively act like we didn't ask, cause goddamn, that was fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I definitely does well. There's little apps for hookups, like I can go, yeah, go, <laughs> go sit on a pole and spin for that shit, right? Mm -hmm. The only shopping or deal date would be the aquarium zoo. I would love to go on a fucking aquarium date. I love the aquarium so much. Fun, fun fact, Silver, where I live, the, uh, the zoo and the aquarium and the museum are all right next to each other, pretty much. That's awesome! At least the museum and the zoo are right next to each other. I actually did that, um, I think for my anniversary with my ex fiance I think I actually took her to the, like, the Fine Arts Museum, the Natural Science Museum, and the zoo on the same day, because they're, like, right next to each other. We didn't have to switch parking or anything, just walk from place to place. My llama. My legs were dead at the end of it, but, man, I had a really good time. Mm-hmm. But the, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I don't know the last time I was at a zoo. Uh, uh shit. I was, I was gonna say something else, but I don't remember what it was. I had a thought in my head. We're oh, yeah, about... the, the mall. I love the mall. Yeah. Except the mall by my house, it, like, foreclosed or something a while ago, so that, uh, like, two-thirds of the shops are just closed. So it's very, very dead, because, like, nobody goes there. People shop online now. There's only, like, some stores that are open. They have, like, some food things there, which is nice. So it's still nice to walk around and, like, reminisce on back in the day when the mall wasn't dead. You're not dead. Hi. Welcome in, Goober. Yeah, I think the mall by where I live is still active, because I remember I had a friend come by once, and we went out at the mall for a while. <laughs> I mean, I just want to go to a library. It was right next to the hotel. Library date. I guess if both of you guys like books, a library date wouldn't be that bad. But the thing is, with a library date, wouldn't you just be too busy reading the books then to pay attention to each other? Mm, I feel like that's just depends. hanging out rather than being on a date. Well, I mean, because I've been on a library date and we didn't, like, we didn't sit there read books. We just, like, gushed about the books that we liked to each other. Aren't you not supposed to talk in a library, like a though? We're not supposed to be loud in a library, but we can still talk. Hmm. Bookstores are the only place you actually enjoy shopping at. Do you go to, like, the manga section? The arcade at your local mall was bought out by a vape shop? Which then went out of business? That legit upset me? I would be mad, too! I'd be mad, too. Shit. The, the one mall... The, dumb. the mall by me used to have a, like, a... Like a... Not glow-in-the-dark. Like a UV light, neon, like, uh, mini-golf course in it. I don't like mini golf, but I went there once and it was cool. Uh, I'm gonna destroy your ideal date for you. How could you? I don't know what you're talking about. If you like books, then go for it. Now just go to the corner and cry. Oh, yeah. so good ideal date. What? He said uh, library date. Oh, the library. I'm a loach <laughs> looking at me with reproach. Good one. Good one. Animal Crossing character. Yeah, date is basically a level up version of hanging out. Yeah, pretty much. Which is why yeah, I hate the concept. Happen. It's why I hate the concept of people, like, having to go on dates to get to know each other. Like, I would never date somebody that I didn't already, like, know. I mean, I wouldn't date somebody that I didn't already know on, like, a, hey, I wanna, I wanna marry this person. But people being like, hey, you wanna, you wanna go on a date? Ahaha, <laughs> get to know each other? And I'm like, you can fucking get to know somebody without going on a date. It's called hanging out and talking. Uh, Cause I've had, I've been, t I've told people like the whole like, hey, uh, pe people should not be dating people unless they, you know, plan on like, you know, being in a serious thing. And then they're like, okay, but how are they, how are they gonna, you know, get to get to know each other and everything? And I'm like, you fucking talk to them and hang out like a normal person. Like, no, don't. I hate people. I hate the way people view relationships these days. It makes me so fucking mad. The modern dating scene is certainly different than it used to be. That makes me this fucking tired. Just a tire stack that's a so lame. Date, yeah. Jesus Christ, I could have made like a flower bed or something with a tire, but no, just three tires in a stack. Christ, Animal Crossing, come on. No? A little tire garden thing would not be terrible, just IRL. I should think about that. A little what? Like putting a tire, like, um, sideways flat, so like the holes in the middle, and then like filling it with like dirt and like planting stuff in it, like a little little planter. Oh, that'd be cute. It's very, right. um, uh, trailer park coded, but, you know. 
think the distinction like, is like, oh, different. I just fish up a tire. Like, oh, I can use the DIY recipe with this. Like, oh, like a little plant. I think that's what I would do with it, you know? It's if I make something with a tire. It's like, nope, just three tires in a stack. Do you think like, the distinction is that going on a date to get to know each other is that they are going in with the intention of finding that compatibility? Well, just hanging out could be just that. You don't have to have an intent. If you're going to be compatible with someone, you are going to find that out just by hanging out with them. You don't need to add that extra intention because if things don't work out, then you're locked into this, like, awkward scenario. If you like somebody, if you're interested in somebody, and you want to get to know them better, to, then you just hang out with them. Hang out with them, get to know them, and if you're like, oh, wow, yeah, we're compatible, I think this is great, we can, you know, work things out, this will be fun, we'll make a good couple, uh, then, you know, great, then you can move on to actually dating them now that you're sure. Or, if you don't, you find out, like, oh shit, mate, we're, we're, we wouldn't be able to, like, function together forever, then you're not in some position where you have to be like, oh, ah, ha, 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 uh, sorry, we're, uh, we're not dating anymore, ah, ha, ha, ha. No, it's, I fucking hate people. Because, like, I've heard that argument before, Wolf. But no, I, I absolutely do not agree with that. One date you went on was a movie date. Didn't really enjoy the movie that much. Don't really recommend movie dates unless you plan the movie you see beforehand. Why? Wait, you didn't plan on what movie you were seeing before you went to the movie? Did you just go and pick whatever movie happened to be playing at that time? Die on the Hill that going on a date with a stranger is bullshit. Yes! People that do that either want a one-night stand or rob you out of your money for a meal. Exactly! That is so fucking true. Speak your truth, my guy. Chicken, high corpzella, chimpkin nugget. So the person you went uh, close with and you didn't like the movie, so plan with the person. Yeah, of course. I feel like it would be weird to not plan with the person. I'm not gonna have somebody be like, hey, you wanna go on a movie date? And just not tell me what movie it's gonna be. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, who goes to the movies? Because you plan what you wanna see! In. But, oh yeah, the person chose for you, Silver. That's kind of rude. That's inconsiderate, honestly. That's I mean, like, like a, hey, okay, you're you... coming with me, and we're gonna go see this thing that I want to do without any regards about like, what you feel about it. You can go to, like, not pick out a movie before going to the movies if the date is, hey, let's go to the movies and just see what's playing and just try some out, you know? Like, try something. Yeah. If that's, like, but that's, like, the agreed upon, like, you're going in not knowing what you're gonna see and not even sure if it's gonna be good or not. We just noticed to, you know... Hey, fuck it. You know, we're here. Might as well. Yeah. They didn't tell you what movie. That's weird, dude. But, um... That's that's a very clear... I mean, unless they specifically told you, like, hey, I'm gonna be picking the movie. Trust me, or whatever. Then, that's a very clear sign of no communication skills. Which is bad in relationships. You need... Communication is very, very important. And yes, a cow! But you could go to- do, you, do the movie theaters around you have, like, food and stuff? Because there's a- there, uh, the movie theater that I go to by my house has, like, restaurants and stuff. It's got, like, an ice cream place, it's got, like, a pancake place, stuff like that. So if the movie ends up being weird, you can just get some ice cream or pancakes or something. Oh my god, I could go for some fucking pancakes right now. Pancakes. Date your boyfriend and you went on. It's like walking around the mall, eating at Red Robin, falling asleep, watching Gur and Lagan together, and then 4 a.m. McDonald's Nuggies together. Hell yeah. Honestly, that sounds pretty goaded. <laughs> I prefer going like out. If I were gonna go on dates, I prefer to go like out somewhere, because it. I find it hard to consider staying at home a date because that's just called hanging out. But I don't really nice care though. where we would go if we went on a date. We could walk around the fucking mall, that would be awesome. Go to fucking McDagnals, I guess. I don't really like McDagnals. Or I guess I just haven't had McDagnals in a long time. But I am absolutely not picky when it comes to that kind of stuff, as long as, like, both of us are having a good time. I don't care where the hell we go. I mean, like, yeah, we brought up really, like, it didn't really just hang it up, but you like each other. Hmm? So, 
a date really is just hanging out, but you like each other. Like, you can do romantic dates, like going to dinner and stuff. But, like, a lot of the dates that I've been on were really just like, this could have been a hangout hat I've been with a friend instead of my girlfriend. Yeah. But, you know, I was with my girlfriend and I like her, so, you know, I'm having a good time just being close. Yeah. They were the one who asked me how you said yes, was expecting them to get back to me about the movie. They didn't, so I went in blind. Could have gotten popcorn, but I. Oh, we could have gotten popcorn, but didn't? Aw, oh, that sucks. Why not? I get popcorn at movies. Come on, you get popcorn at a movie. That's kind of like the novelty of it, you know? I don't usually get popcorn at movies because I... that's really, really expensive. <laughs> I usually don't bring food to, um, to movie theaters. Or, or, or uh, I don't usually buy food at movie theaters or drinks. I like to buy Reese's Pieces that never fucking finish them. You're at a hotel, so you swam a lot. <gasps> a home date would not work for me at all, since I would not have a home anymore if your family knew I was with a guy. Huh? Oh, are you, are you also Good. a guy? I'd imagine so. I can just go to their really? house then. For some reason, I thought the you were a girl. Wait. Hold on. Wait, what's going on? Well, I yeah, think I've okay, misinterpreted the something here. Where they, that's where they get their money from. Concessions. Even movie theaters? Yeah, they do make like a, most of their money from like the overpriced food. Although the movie theater I go to got like super upgraded. Um. Uh, it got super upgraded. So, no, it wasn't AMC, but it has a boba place in it now. Oh, you're Jennifer Luda, but born a guy. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. Said Your the blind BF man. lives several states away. Oh, that's sad. I could never do. A long distance relationship. Shout I, out to people who can make long distance work yeah. couldn't be me, because I I need the physical affection. Yeah, I would not be able to stand not being around my boyfriend twenty four seven every single day forever. <laughs> I am way too clingy. I'm way too clingy and obsessive to not have them out of my sight. I need to be around um, them at all times. God forbid they live somewhere else. <laughs> Yeah, God forbid. They live in my fucking basement now. They can't escape Just that way. Just chain them up. Chain them up, yeah. Listen, if I want one to chain me up in a basement, as long as I'm, like, cared for and paid for, well, I, you know what? I'm down. Mm -hmm. The problem is I just need <laughs> money. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't see the fucking fish! How am I supposed to know what he bites in the... Oh, 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 I think that's it. Let's go. What are you? Something dumb, probably. Fishy. Have you ever friend zoned anyone? Literally every single yes. guy that has ever approached me. Told a story about how you sister zoned your best friend. Do you have any stories? Uh, I have been approached by many, many guys many, many times in many, many locations through over my many, many years. And uh, aside from the one friend that I went on a date with, uh, I have just said no to everyone <laughs> because I don't like them like that. The thing is, okay, okay. I don't think the friend zone exists. I don't think the friend zone is a thing. I think it's just like you are either interested in someone or you're not. You know? Like, I would never. Because, like, the guy I went on a date with was my friend. Like, I was friends with him prior. Uh, he wasn't just, like, some guy. So, you absolutely. There's no friend zone because you can catch feelings for someone who's already been your friend. So, there, there's no zone for that. It's just you're either interested in somebody or you're not. Whether they're your friend or they are not, or not your friend. You've been stalking them for like six weeks or something. I don't think the friend zone is a thing. I think that's just a thing that people say because so they, cause they don't want to just be okay. like, oh yeah, I'm just not interested in you. They're like, oh, you're in, okay. you're in the friend zone, yeah. What? Also, to add on to that though, um, the people who are upset about being in the friend zone are also putting the girl in a girlfriend zone where like I can't see you as just a friend. Yeah. Like that's either true. it's date or not. And that is also a problem. Like if you can't see somebody as just a friend, like you only see the romantic thing, just don't bother. It's not that, gonna work. Yeah, I didn't just... even think about that. That's true. Oh seven yeah, years no, yeah, strong like, with your guy. Your aunt's so just happy to happen. Oh, that's cute. Congratulations, Wolf. That's so cute. Yeah, like because I've had friends that are girls that I've caught feelings for under so like Probably wouldn't work out if we got together. And just that was it, left with that. Even when they were single, never went for it because like I just knew that like it just that's just nothing that wouldn't like work like if I pursued that. 
for both of our sake, to be fair. Yeah. Um, because I was just like, okay, well, I mean, I was so cool being your friend, and we're still friends to this day. Should play content. I heard they got content warning though. Should hit him up to play that. Ooh, hell yeah. Cause... Oh, this Toshi will blow up if not given attention. She also hates hugs. Okay, I've I've said this before. I hate. I oh, hate facts. physical contact. I hate physical contact with anyone who is not a romantic partner. If I like somebody, if I am... Dude, if I had a boyfriend, I would be up all over them, hug, huggle, snuggle all the time. You would not be able... You need, you need, like, the jaws of life to pry me off of them. Industrial-grade yeah. spatula. Any, any amount of, like, hatred for physical touch is flip-flopped entirely from the negatives to the positives in terms of, like, romantic things. I, w I will need to be up huddled next to my boyfriend all the time every day. <laughs> you know if this is an unpopular is opinion, fucking stressful. you feel that people that cut out their friends because they don't reciprocate feelings are really dumb. Like, unless they become weirders, why cut that friendship? Yeah, no, I feel that too. I feel what that I'm too. What I'm saying, bro, it's, this is it's what I said earlier. And don't bro. date coworkers. Like... I have never dated a coworker. Uh, but I have heard that dating coworkers is not good. I had uh, my coworkers ask me out before, like a couple times. Uh... Well, the okay, reason what you don't want to date a coworker is because, what... like, if it doesn't work out and you're still working together, it just gets really fucking awkward. Yeah. So unless I, you're like, um... unless you're like professional about it or whatever, which probably oh, I'm not, sorry. you know. Oopsies, I'm sorry. Stanley. What did you do? I have stream delay. I uh, I I gave a a melon to Stanley while he was in the middle of drawing, because I didn't see who was the one drawing. Oops. So he has an unfinished drawing. drawing, but it's fine. You never ruined his dreams of becoming an artist. How could you? No, he's fine. He's fine. Look, his drawing is so cute. It's just a little translucent. But yeah, the, um, my one, one of my coworkers, one of the times my coworkers has asked me out was, uh, the, the, became like a joke between, like, me and another one of the co-workers about Frozen 2. I'm pretty sure- did I mention this one? I, I know I- pretty I think, sure Yeah, I this sounds familiar. Yeah, Unless he you asked me out. Feed, but I've definitely- Alright, so just for- for me reference again, the um- <laughs> uh, I worked at a convenience store- are you gonna hop on the thingy? Oh no, I thought he was gonna hop on the horsey. Um, and- the, my one coworker, I went into the back. It was coworker one, and then coworker one is the one who will ask me out, and then coworker two was the bystander who knew what was going on. <laughs> poor schmuck. The poor schmuck. He was a guy. But so I went into the back, and coworker one and coworker two were sitting on the <laughs> in the back room, and coworker one was like, "Hey, hey, Theo, um, do you maybe want to like go see Frozen 2? Uh, today? Because <laughs> this is like when Frozen 2 was in theaters. I'm gonna go see Frozen 2, and I'm like, oh shit, this guy's asking me out. Oh, he's asking me out. What do I do? So I'm like, as, you know, like, as as a friend thing? And he's like, yeah! Yeah! As a friend! <laughs> and I can- That was it? That was the singer? That yeah, was the and I'm like, because I didn't want to be like, oh, uh, sorry. I didn't want to, like, assume anything, you know. I didn't want to be like, sorry, I don't want to date. But he's like, as I'm like, as, as a friend, thing, he's like, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you could just like feel that coworker two was just like, <laughs> he was so like entertained by it, I'm sure. <laughs> and um, but I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure, we we can do that. And he's like, yeah, cool. And then uh, at the, by the when his shift ended, he just left. Coworker one just left and never actually told me like a date or a, or not like a time or a location or anything to see it. He just left. <laughs> so I never got to see Frozen 2. So then Coworker 2 would be like, haha, you know, hey, Coworker 1, have you taken Fio to, say Fro to see Frozen 2 yet? And then like, continued, like, way after Frozen 2 was even, like, out of theaters. It was, uh, That's it was so a good funny. time. Frozen <laughs> yeah. died inside. You should have doubled down, honestly. You should have doubled down and be like, no, like, a date date. And then at least he could have got rejected in peace, you know, as a man on his, on man. his feet, you know? Yeah. Standing up, standing <laughs> proud. I don't think he's going to separate Bro tucked and ran. Without making- oh, without nuking things. Right. Uh, he's Goodbye, rich. fish. Converting Goodbye, you into fish. money. I should sell the acorn. So I'm reading like, over chat. Vanilla cams are used for medicine. 
Imagine being in chat right now could not be me. <laughs> You're playing fishies. I have chat open. I can type in chat right now. Why, why should I type in chat? You How feel like being the type people? to invite someone to the movies just because you don't want to be there alone? Honestly, I feel that. I've gone to the movies by myself a few times. <laughs> but it is nicer to have somebody else there. But for me, it's just nicer to have somebody else wherever you go. I like hanging yeah, I like out with people. Alone. I like hanging out with people rather than just going places by myself. Not for, like, any anxiety, like, ooh, um, it's awkward being alone. Actually, you know, going to a restaurant alone is a little bit weird. Sometimes I feel awkward going to a restaurant alone, so I'll usually invite somebody else if I'm going to, like, a food place. But, <laughs> <coughs> in general, I just like hanging out with people. But I'll go to, like, the mall alone sometimes, I'll go to the movies alone, but it's just nicer having other people to hang out with. Uh... That's oh, a really pretty sense. umbrella. I forgot about that. What? I'm a really pretty umbrella. Mm. It's Thank like kind of like a nice, like kind of like a dark purple with a black trim on it with Bad like some kind of full design. Oh my god, silver! I remember you talking about that. The bad tattoos. You like going alone? Got used to it after you got rejected and canceled on all your plans you ever try to make. Oh no! Oh no, Hogan! No, that's sad. Oh. Hogan's gonna have the greatest rags to riches romance story of all time. You're gonna I'm get gonna, I'm, 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 a a wonderful anime girl waifu. You're gonna be the uh, the first success story in bringing a an anime character to life and living a happy romantic marriage together forever with them. That'll be your your hero story. I remember hearing a story one time. Um, there was a, a fitness YouTuber called Jacksway who was also like a huge weeb, and like he does a lot of like weeb focused content for like workouts and stuff. Um, and he mentioned how he went to see the Dragon Ball Battle of Gods movie when that came out. Uh, and he was like shocked. He's like, he, like he saw like, like all these like loser people show like these like ten out of ten girlfriends. It's like, where the hell have these women been? How how does this happen? Where did you find them? Like he's like so like like fucking <laughs> aghast at like what he saw. He's like, good for them though. Yeah. They're like all dressed up in like Dragon Ball costumes and stuff. Like like both of them. It's like, oh, that's kind of nice. That's cute. It's going to be Hogan one day. I, be I believe in Hogan. We believe it. You got to believe in yourself. You're a you funny just guy, gotta Hogan. You just got to talk to a girl like you talk to the bros, just less horny. All right? It's, <laughs> it's, just, it's that easy. Women aren't scary. They're just girls, scared. Girls like funny guys, and you're a funny guy, Hogan. I'm sure you can pull girls if you try hard enough. But yeah, that's right, uh, Guac does kind of look like a Celebi. I love Celebi. I love Celebi. They're that scary! Film, like somebody <laughs> called them once. But they are scary. Nah. Just I mean, don't be afraid, bro. You with people, so you really go out anyways. It's not hard to make plans, it's just like... Yeah, you just ask like, hey, do you, are, are you free on this day? Are you free on this day at this time? Do you want to go to this place? If they say yes, then hooray, you've got a plan. If they say no, you can like pick another day or you can ask somebody else. Imagine setting up D&D &D for people. Are you guys free this day? Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, actually, no. <laughs> oh, okay. When I set up D&D, &D, I never had an issue with that for my campaign because I'm like, I'm going to be running this every Thursday at this time. Can you make Thursdays at this time? If the answer is yes, then you know, yay. If the answer is no, then alas, they can't join the campaign. It's, it's that, that I, because I always hear people be like, OMG, scheduling issues is the bane of like a D and D player's existence. I have never had that, because um, any campaign that I've been in, which well, it was my campaign. There was Pigeon Man's campaign times two, because I was in his campaign twice, and there was another campaign that I was in with you for that short amount of time before I quit. Uh, all, for every time we've never had scheduling issues because it was always like, hey, this time, this day, every week. And then I'm like, yay. And then, you know, I just follow that schedule. Yeah, I mean, once you have it established, it's like fine. But it's like getting that initial, like, what day are we all good for? Yeah. Is where it, uh, I suppose so. gets a thing. I'm sad for Wednesday because, like, the, the like last week, before <laughs> the one we just did, we, we had to skip because of something. So then we put, you know, this last Wednesday. Then. <laughs> This Wednesday we can't play. I'm gone. Yeah. We're gonna be there. 
And it's like, oh, well, I mean, technically, I guess technically the, 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 the session will end before I have to leave. So, like, I could just, you know, burn my phone, but I don't really want to do that. I like women have all their... Oh, I thought somebody walked in my room. Uh, women have all their non-direct ways of saying stuff, so if you pick the wrong note, then I will be hit with a cringe beam in size of the size of Texas. Hey girl, you shall wait for robots to actually exist and go from Cyberpunk 2077. Uh-oh. Yeah, find someone who's direct with you. What's the fucking Austin Powers fembots, bro? Come on. Yeah, I- like, I- like I said earlier, communication is very important. And a lot of girls don't understand that. Because girls can understand communication, but the guys can't, so they don't realize they have to, you know, up their up their communication level to compensate for the guy's lack of communication understanding kind of thing. Yeah, girls and guys communicate very differently. Guys are a lot more direct with each other about shit. It's so not I, even I, just I, I, that. It's just different styles of communication, which don't really match well together. Girls <laughs> can first. understand girls and guys, but unfortunately guys can only understand guys most of the time. So, alas. I guess it depends, because I see a lot of stuff people, it's like, you know, if a guy says that he's tired, or this or that, like, he, he means it. I mean, assuming he's not, like, you know, some kind of gaslighter, right? Absolutely. He's like, oh, what are you thinking about? It's Nothing. Just, instead of just saying it, your dentist can be the same thing again. The thing is, I understand, I understand why you wouldn't want to be direct, like why you would want guys to just pick up on the hints rather than outwardly saying like, hey dude, uh, I like you, go out with me. Because it, if you just say it, it doesn't feel authentic. If you communicate like, hey, I like you, if you say everything directly instead of them understanding, like, your, your, the subtext of it, it just, it, it kind of ruins it, honestly, in a way. It does not feel good, it feels very bad from the girl's perspective a lot of the time, it feels very, like, ingenuine kind of thing. Ingenuine is the opposite of genuine, right? Like, not genuine? Um, disingenuous. Disingenuous, that works. What the fuck is that? Is that a cockroach in the water? What the fuck is that thing? I'm gonna catch it. Wait, is it gone? Imagine not Where thinking. I can't because I don't think. I can't oh. imagine it. No, I, if, no, hang on. No, no. If a girl wants to just fucking grab me by the face and be like, I like you. Go out with me. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, but the thing is, a lot of girls don't like that. Yeah, most girls will uh, like to prefer to be asked out, which is also another, thing, another issue that Hogan might have. Yeah. Like you did today, you consider yourself good at communication and picking hints, but goddamn. If you make sense of me, and don't directly ask me if I want to be involved, I will not think I'm invited to such plans. Well, technically you're not, unless you actually ask, like, hey, can I join? Because if they're making plans in front of you, and they don't ask you, then technically you're not invited. <laughs> Which, it's kind of weird to make plans in front of somebody without directly asking everybody involved. Yeah. That was just like, oh, hey, are we all, as in, like, all here? Like, are we all cool with this? Are we all, you know, down? But if you know, Axel, hello. But, like, otherwise, it's just like... I, I have seen that happen in real time, and it's really shitty to, like, to witness. Mm. Axel, why do you have a bunch of radios in your house? Why, why are you superstitious about giving me radios? What? Girls with their essays you can be a know radio? without being told, but no one can read minds. Tax reminder! Oh, fuck! Yeah, tomorrow's the last day. I am going to write that down. I can help you if you want. Taxes! Like, do, the free, do the free one. Ah, bing. Sorry, I'm writing that down because in case I forget again, because I'm probably going to forget again. I was about to jokingly suggest a stream where you do your taxes, but then like there's yeah, a lot of Yeah, that's a horrible idea! Yeah. <laughs> Hi extension. guys, you want to know all of my information? Remember there was like that dating sim that like helped you file your taxes, but they ended up like canning it because like even though like it did help you file your taxes, it was like not like an official thing. There was like something was missing to like take that information from people. That's right, I, I vaguely remember hearing about that. Yeah. Extension. Committing tax fraud by accident. Where do I, I still think the government's. 
government should not have to make you fly on taxes because the IRS very clearly knows how much you owe because if you get it wrong, they come after you. Yeah. So they already know. So why are they making me do it? Because they're stupid. Oh yeah, a lot of girls want to be chased rather than to chase somebody. It Yeah, that is true. Back 7, 2000, was that it? That sounds right. It, um, girls like, uh, guys making the first move. It, rather than the other way around. But the thing is, for me, like, if I like a guy, and they like me back, and I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm, I wanna marry this dude, I think we would be a happy couple forever, but he's, like, too nervous to ask me out or whatever, I would make the first move. Like, I, I, I would. If I think, I oh shit. you, like, prefer making the first move in general? I hate being approached. <laughs> I don't yeah, like when guys approach me. Uh, so, in that regard, if, if, however, it is, like, the one guy who is too shy, if he is not too shy, and he does happen to approach me before I approach him, I'll absolutely fucking say yes. But if he's, like, taking a bit to be, like, unsure or whatever, I'll, I'll fucking go for it. I'll, 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 I'll okay. say it first. I get where you come from, but I do get it. But also, like, if the guy that is into you knows that, why would they approach you at the first place? I know you hate being approached, because, like, how would they know that you're into them unless you make it obvious beforehand? Well, I mean, it would be obvious beforehand. At that point, just ask him out. <laughs> yeah, if he, if he doesn't first. Uh, well, that's and, what like, I'm saying. Well, yeah, I... if he doesn't first, I will. Yeah. Okay, but, like... Maybe I'm just being done with this, just for clarity for myself. Um, if the guy that, is, that you're into knows ahead of time that you do not like being approached, uh, but doesn't know that you like him, why would he approach you? But then you said um, it would be obvious, but at that point, if you're making it obvious that you like him, why not just ask him out in the first place when you like him? Because I would need to make sure that he liked me first before I asked, asked, asked him out. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, okay, I need to make sure sense. that we're that fully compatible. Like I said, I'm not going to date anybody that I am not, like, fully compatible. Like, I want to spend my life with this person. Well, I feel yeah. like you can feel like you'd be compatible with somebody without knowing if they like you back. Mm hmm Well, like, you might, like, be hanging out with them. Yeah, yeah, we vibe really well, but I don't know if they like me kind of a thing. Yeah, wait, can you say that again? I think I missed the first half of that sentence. Well, like, you can tell that you could be compatible with somebody without knowing if they like you. Like, you can. Can or can't? Can. Oh, yeah, yeah, can. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, if I find that out, butterfly. and then I, like, I would kind of, I, the thing is, it's pretty easy to tell when a guy likes you. <laughs> they are very, they're not subtle with it. Or even if they are, yeah. even if they try to be subtle with it, I don't know, maybe it's just because I picked on it, picked up on it so easily. Okay, yeah, basically you've been asked out so many times. You I've just, been asked out and I've had so many guys like, cash feelings for me. Even if they don't ask me out, uh, I can tell and I'll hear it from like somebody else's confirmation and everything. So, and also I'm just good at reading. I think that I am very good at reading people. I think I am good at telling people of what they are, what they are thinking and doing and things and such. Mainly in person. Over text, it's a lot harder. <laughs> Over text, it's significantly more difficult. But in person, I am very good at, uh, yeah. uh, in, uh, in person, I am very good at reading people. Which is, you know, the majority of guys who approach me and ask me out are in person. Yeah, Sorry, let me go back and read chat. Approach. I've kind of been uh, too focused on this explanation. <laughs> Blunt yeah, a lot of girls find bluntness unromantic. It's true. <sighs> Cranny hours. When do you close? 10 p.m.? Oh, I'll bet. I got time. Wait. Are My game isn't on daylight savings. Now we're behind. What Let's was go. Teasing and what was genuine? I think girls that tease people as a way to say that they like them is really weird. I don't like that concept. I know there are a lot of girls that do that. I don't like that concept, though. I, I wouldn't tease a guy like, haha, stinky, uh, if I liked him, because it's like, bro, what? Are you like four? <laughs> are you like a, a preschooler? What are you doing? If you make the first move and you just get blasted if they don't like you, like, reject me, that's fine, but don't violate my bloodline. 
Okay. <laughs> At that point, if a girl fucking blasts you for asking her out, if she's, like, not nice about it, she wasn't fucking worth your time, King. Pick up your crown and find no someone who's better for you. Oh, a lot of people like the feeling of being wanted or pursued. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, and as nice as the feeling of dependency can be? Oh, okay, no, I don't agree with that part, no. Uh, it can also just kind of painful for the other person to lead them on. No, I, uh, I do not find the feeling of dependency, uh, nice. I do not want to be dependent on somebody else. That is not a pleasant thing. You remember when you approached a girl, kind of? Mesa, you approached a girl once? Approached a girl, kind of? Ooh. Oh, I got a crawfish, Wait, let's you go. you obliterated two girls' self confidence because you didn't like them when they approached me? Oh, uh, no, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. If you didn't like them, then you didn't like them. You That shouldn't have destroyed their, uh, their self confidence. You shouldn't have, like, good thing you didn't say yes. Like, if you don't like them, then you don't like them, and you shouldn't have to say yes, and they should acknowledge that if you don't like them, then you're not gonna say yes. Logan really is thinking camp pull, and he, he just admits uh, to pulling at least two women. Asking out over text kind of like cringe. Asking out over text is a kind of cringe. The guy who asked me out, the one date that I went on, it was over text, but it's because he couldn't make it to in-person thing that night that we were at. He was one of the people that I played D&D with in Pigeon Man's original campaign. Oof. So he couldn't make it to session that night, but yeah. Must have been awkward after the fact. Nah. Nah, it was whatever. I've never made a move towards a person, then again, you don't really found anyone who do you want to date. Exactly! I've never flirted with anybody, I've never made a move on anybody, because I've never found somebody I wanted to, you know? Those people you found attractive, not that you consider them long term though. Oh, uh, I don't know about that one. I don't really find guys attractive. <laughs> it is so, 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 so rare that I will ever find a guy physically attractive. Unless it's an anime character. <laughs> I'm down, I'm fucking down horrendous for anime characters. Uh, IRL, I don't really find guys attractive. Or girls. I'm not attracted to either in person much. There are guys who can be attractive, just very, very, very rare. I am O. I'm very picky. Had a few girls that would like fake try to kiss you in high school, but just don't know if they liked me or were just messy with me. That's weird. That is weird. But also, that's high school, and high schoolers are weird. So honestly, it could have that, that could have been either. Not gonna lie. Even I would. I can't really tell you which is right and which is wrong on that. I'm just sort of dependent in a sense, but like being wanted or found attracted by someone. That is very different from dependent. You don't get it? I was kind of mean when you said no. Aww. Were you like, oh, sorry, no, you're ugly? Was it like that? Bro, Why Hogan were you mean? was the worst I so, can say so is no. You That's fucking. Crazy. You're talking about, oh man. I don't want to ask somebody out because what if they what if they blast me and you know and then they're super mean when you did the same thing to two other girls or whatever, bro. Like How many damn near don't impossible let the, to don't please. The women me. win, Hogan. King shit. I'm kidding. Oh my god. But he even made your friend tell me later that he, you kind of went too far. What the hell did you do? I know. Like I'm a not. No, 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 no. I'm absolutely it? not impossible to please. I am actually very, uh, quite easy to please. It's just that my standards are... Okay, so it's it's kind of a weird thing. There's a threshold. There's, like, a threshold. If I pick somebody, if I pick, like, oh, I like this person, I, you know, this. I think they're... The thing is, if I like somebody, uh, their physical attractiveness doesn't matter. So, like, take that out of the equation because I really don't care about that. But if, uh, if I like them... I'm I'm really easy to I'm very easy to please. Like I am very low. I'm very okay. So there's like the high maintenance, low maintenance thing. I am very low maintain maintenance when it comes in terms of like materialistic and like monetary stuff. 
uh, like, I don't fucking care. I don't care about fancy presents, I don't care about fancy dinner nights, I don't care about fucking anything like that. Uh, buy me, like, food, buy me, like, Applebee's once in a while and I'm fucking fine. Get me, like, a pretzel from the convenience store, I don't care. That's, like, all I need to be s satisfied anything, like, monetarily. But... Uh, make you a grilled cheese every once in yeah, a while. Yeah, make me a fucking grilled cheese! Make me a grilled cheese, like, every now and then, and I'll fucking be like, hell yeah, dude, that's all I need in materialistic things. Uh, like, if, if there's something I need, like, I don't need it as a present. If there's something I need, I'll buy it myself, you know? And, but in ter so I'm super low maintenance when it comes to that. When it comes to like emotional and like attention i am very high maintenance i need attention like all the time i need i need them to pay attention to me i need to be in their presence all the time so that i am uh high maintenance on but other things i am not uh everything everything's fine it's not difficult to keep me keep me in check <laughs> Very weird banging noises somewhere. That's me on the inside of your skull. Me in your mom's room. They did do all your Sorry. notes in that class at least, so that was something. Really? They did your notes? Okay, that kind of- they probably- if they were pretending to kiss you and they did your notes in class, they probably liked you. No more so than you didn't acknowledge their existence. What? You didn't acknowledge well, you their existence? Them? The Asco just ghosted them? You'd have to be six feet under sky? Wait, what? You didn't no, Ted's parents. Ted's sense. mom. Why you became a VTuber then? <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. <coughs> I do- I- I- not that I need- it. Who the fuck is crying? Oh! Eat you stupid little bitch! There's a melon right next to you. Um... <laughs> not you! <laughs> but the, um, uh, what was I in the middle of saying? Uh, what was I in the middle of saying? Oh, yeah, no, attention about, yeah, outside being, of, yeah. outside of, like, relationship stuff, attention is, like, whatever, you know? I just mean, like, em I'm not looking for emotional and romantic affection from people outside of a relationship. Inside a relationship, I'm fucking, I, I want that. <laughs> I want it. A lot. Give me attention. Give me emotional affirmation and validation. Be cute. I need to talk to you. Very easy to fluster, but as of what you've seen so far, difficult respond to further difficult respond to further serious advances. I don't She's know. Easy to fluster, but anything more than that uh, doesn't mm. really work on silver. Is what she's saying. Would you like to eat the soup I what made the then in my brain? Yes. Brain soup. Brain soup. Can I drink the juice? The what kind of okay, what kind of juice is inside your head? Like the, the juice that your brain is floating around. Is it blood? Is it like some no, other? It's liquid? Some kind of fluid. Hang on. Brain fluid? What is brain fluid? Brain fluid. Brain fluid. Cere cerebrospinal fluid. Ugh. Mm. Okay, what is three? Okay, I don't want to know about the leak. What's the what's the actual layer called? Uh, skull. Damn it. What is the juice in your skull called? Yeah. What is your brain floating in? You slept through most of Cerebro, the Cerebrospinal fluid. Okay. Oh. What is cere <laughs> cerebrospinal? Ew. Cerebrospinal fluid. Made up is made by a tissue called choroid plexus in the ventricles, hollow spaces in the brain. Uh, oh god, that's a white background with thin text. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> this is terrible. Your brain is floating in <laughs> milk. Yes, gold. That's correct. Welcome in, by the <laughs> way. Honestly, my brain probably floating in milk. The amount that I drink. Honestly, all the time. yeah. I feel like you're probably like 86% milk at this point. <laughs> I, I believe it. And you know what? I'm glad. The vampire's gonna try to bite me to get a fucking to get a free drink. Fuck no, bro. You better bring some cereal with you. He's gonna just increase his calcium intake. Now your spinal. My you bones know what are I'm strong. I'm. I'm. I have never broken a bone. Who's the marimba? 
Unleash the marimba. Do you have a marimba? The last fossil location. Let's go. You'd rather be made of milk than Excuse water. Me. I feel Honestly, like if you same. replaced all of the milk, I mean, all of the water in your body with milk, you wouldn't survive. <laughs> I think that would cause uh, some just... very bad reaction, and you would probably no, die. I would be built different. All right, like, hold on. I'm hearing uh, Hogan's story here. Let's see, what did he do to these girls? Okay, so it was a gal that was into me since, like, fifth grade. This happened when we were in, like, 11th, and I was late to a meeting with your friend group. And then comes into the... Oh, and then come in the gal with her friend, trying to talk to me to get a date going, but I just greeted the friend not the gal turned to my female friend and uh took her hand while we kept running to get to the meeting point later on you never saw the gal again so yeah i feel that was kind of mean on my oh she just had a moment okay <laughs> so this girl and her I... friend came up to you and the, the, the your friend was trying to set you up with the girl and then you ignored the girl and instead took your friend's hand and ran over to the your other group of friends Bro without acknowledging the girl who wanted the date. <laughs> oh Did my god. Was it on purpose? Then, was or... it on purpose or was it an accident? No, it has to have been an accident because he was running late to his meeting with his other friends. So he probably just like, oh, hi, and then, you know, kept going, like, oh, gotta go. The milk of the soul. Wait, are you. If, Wolf, you're violently allergic to water. Are you actually allergic to water? Because I know that is a thing. There are people who are allergic to water. 50-50! It was all... only half an accident! He just didn't want to date her, so he just took the excuse to leave. Honestly? Brother. You know, while I don't necessarily approve of it, I can respect it if you didn't want to just you outright reject it. her. You hate the taste of water? Sorry, Bro, that same! Just... I hate what drinking kind of water y'all drink? There's different flavors of water. I like flavored water. I, I have Probably a there's like water different bottle flavors here, of water. So unfortunately, I am drinking it, but I don't like it. My parents keep buying the same damn brand of water, and it's terrible, and I hate it. And I only ever drink it because it's all the only water I had at work. The only time I'll ever be like, <gasps> water, yes, is if I'm like dying in a desert for like three weeks, and I just need something thirsty, something to drink. Like water or sparkling thirst. water. Yeah, th I mean, that's sparkling water. I like sparkling water. I know you don't have marimba, but your new neighbors would not like that. Uh, but spinal steam, spinal steam has been a xylophone, a marimba playing throughout. Spinal. Oh, is that a character from something? Cold water at 3 a.m. is the best water. I prefer juice. I mean, my favorite is like soda, but I kind of don't drink soda that much because it's not good for you anymore. But I don't know. If you give me soda, I'll absolutely take soda. But yeah. Doctor Pepper. Why do I still water now? Oh, really? I'm just regular Labor water. Waters, like regular <laughs> plain water is ugh to me. In the sparkling. You like them sparkling ice? I love those. Those sparkling ice brand. Those are so good. Ah, they're so good. Absolutely. Yes, based, based. Oh, it's a character in Killer Instinct. Skeleton from Killer Instinct. Oh, I, never played Killer Instinct. I know the Arbiter is in Killer Instinct, though. What is so Killer Instinct? For that. That's a game, I guess? It's a fighting game. Oh. I don't, a fighting game, yeah. I feel like you've heard that. I, I feel like some of you guys have mentioned Killer Instinct before, but I, I don't think I've ever seen anything of it. Or is that the one where you guys showed me, like, uh, the, the 3D models, and I looked up, like, a couple characters? That's I remember doing that at one point. Little Cloud Butter Shade Fire, yeah. Skeletons. Was the Arbiter good? Did someone yeah. confirm that? If someone has played as the Arbiter, is he even good? Please, God, tell me he's good. Brilliant. I could, my heart couldn't take it if he was bad. Hmm. If he is bad, just lie to me. I'm never gonna play it anyway. Just lie to me. Tell me it was good anyway. <laughs> the only floor is a brilliant fighting game. Yeah, I think we did have this conversation at one point. Arbiter was pretty good, to my knowledge. Thank you. I don't know if you're lying. I'll just think you're serious. <laughs> Back after getting some water, in case you missed something in the last two minutes, we're talking about how much we didn't like water, Hogan. <laughs> or at least how some of us didn't like water. Me and Wolf have the same opinions that we hate plain water. It's gross. 
but we'd like flavored water, and sparkling ice is a fucking goaded water, sparkling water brand. I think it was character and... Eh? Arbiter was top tier, but he isn't Tusk, Conra, or Spinal, so fuck him! Hey, fuck you! <laughs> Who is Arbiter? Uh, the elite from Halo. Uh, oh. the guy like the kind of black armor, voiced by Keith David. Lovely guy. He also, by far, had the better half of the campaign in Halo 2, because, like, there's, like, memes about it, like, oh yeah, Chief's half of the campaign, he he, aliens, uh, gun go burr, aliens die, Arbiter's like, has everything I taught through my entire life been a lie? Would the prophets really betray us all for, for nothing? You know? Oh god, what have we done? Did the humans even deserve the genocide? And it's just like, his whole, his whole arc in Halo 2 is like, my entire life has been a lie. I must now work to free my people from this, from this terrible thing about to happen to us all. And she was like, he, he, shoot gun. Oh, Losing my religion, my REM. It's a good, it's a good story. Halo 2 is the best Halo story in my opinion. Imagine hitting the liquid that gives you life. Okay, well maybe the liquid that gives me life should taste better. Nah, you got faulty taste buds. No, to be fair, some water does suck ass though. Some water is just bad. There is some good water. I don't ask you for brand names. I don't know brand names. I don't drink water. But like, there, I have, I have had. You don't drink water, water. You say I was trying to advocate for saying that water drinking is good. Just, just because I don't drink water often does not mean that there is not good water. Okay. I remember there being like one time. There was one time I was at a restaurant. And I was like, holy shit, this is good water. Like, I actually said it out loud, like, to my friends. I'm like, what the fuck? This is good water. And they're, and that was actually when they're like, Theo, before you die, you have to tell us if you are actually a fish. <laughs> because there is always a joke that, ah, oh, fucking hell, the stupid boost button is not where it should be. Uh, there was the whole thing of, like, I, 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 am, a, I am a fish. I'm a fish was always a thing. Wee. And so they're like, haha, you you need to tell us if you're actually a fish before you die. <laughs> Would you be a freshwater fish or a saltwater fish? Probably a saltwater fish. They're they're cooler. Attracts. I would prefer to be a saltwater fish because like all the cool fish are saltwater fish. Like, you'll see all the tropical, like, the fancy colorful ones and everything. You don't see too many, like, wild, fancy freshwater fishies. They, they do exist, they are out there. But a lot of them are, like, for pet fish kind of things. Like, they're specifically like, oh, these are, like, the fanciest freshwater, prettiest fish. But you'll see some really cool, like, saltwater fish out in the wild that are cool and colorful. I like saltwater fish. I do like just, I like fish. I, I, I have an aquarium them. for a while. I love fishies, I love sea creatures. Also, if I were a fish, Speaking I'd probably be a of shark. Sea creatures. Have you guys seen the like button and subscribe button on the stream yet? Oh Click it if you haven't already. <laughs> what See, kind of segue button. was that? <laughs> a damn good one. Oh yeah, but no, like, uh, Maiko actually asked me recently, like, if I was a fish, what kind of fish would I be? And I said that I would be probably be a shark. So if I was a fish, I'd be a shark. a shark. I love sharks. What kind of shark would you be? Like oh. a specific in mind, or just like shark in general? Uh, I kind of feel like shark in general, but we, um... I think we said, we settled on like... It was a very quick conversation, but I think it was like black tip, black tip reef shark is kind of just what we uh, were like, yeah, let's it's do this shark. One. I love, which is fine, because I love black tip reef sharks. They're so cute. Yeah, I, I remember there was a little flash to play called Barbarians, uh, <laughs> in which you got, like, a bunch of bears, and you're like, it was like a little, like, a little thing, like, you put your guys down, they'd fight, and you could control them if you wanted to, but they could just let them get out. But you could change, like, what they were, and there was sharks, and so <laughs> I played the shark salty. guys, and I named, yeah. I named all of my sharks after different kinds, different breeds of shark. <laughs> Hell yeah. Most Should freshwater more fish are trying from... to not be eaten so they can be fancy. <laughs> Don't have it. Yeah. You get like the colorful like coral reefs and fancy things where being colorful is actually a viable option out in the wild. Wait, I just realized 
I have your creed hoodie at Animal Crossing. The same fucking shade of the same shade. Eh? Oh, uh, the green hoodie you work to wear all the time. Oh. Green. Yeah. Oh, the exact same color of hoodie. I just I was like so I'm switching. I'm changing my outfit right now. I do have a staff uniform. I have a pink one. I knew that should look familiar. Uh, I'm excited. I need. I finally ordered this one really cute like mini backpack that I've had my eye on for like a long time, like back since it was in pre-order, but I never actually ordered it. I finally ordered it, and I'm waiting for it to get shipped to the store so I can pick it up, but it's so cute! It's this little, like, Totoro bag, like My Neighbor Totoro. It's, like, white and, like, kind of, like, pink Sakura, like, accents and stuff on it, and it's got little Totoro, and it has, like, a soot sprite charm on the, uh, on the, on the zipper, and it's really, really fucking cute. And it's, like, pink on the inside, it's very, it's very cute. It's, like, pastel Totoro, and I love it. Which does not match my my new wardrobe like at all, but it's still fucking cute. <laughs> and I want it. I got a toga in this game as well. I mean, of course I do, but like. Did you find the oh, being a shark means you must literally move forward at all times, or you will die. That's a no. That's not a. Uh, I don't think that's a myth. It's only some sharks though. Some sharks are no, able to stay. Not all sharks though. Some sharks do have to keep moving. But, uh, it depends which ones. You know what, chat? Always keep moving forward, no matter what. Life ain't over till it's over. You got time. There's always, there's always a, a way to change your situation. Keep moving <laughs> forward, no <laughs> matter what. Ridiculous. Always be moving forward. Always. Do not stop. Do not rest. Keep walking. At all odd. times. You're tired? You're not. Move it's all along, your head. move along like I know you do. <laughs> The, um, also an octopus is not a fish, Hoganino. It's a, step pod. it's a mollusk. Mollusk, I like that word. Believe in the, word. Yeah, believe in the I, sky I who believes in you. I you're believe in you, no matter what you're doing. Even if it's illegal, I don't care. I'm not involved in it. I believe you're but doing it, whether you're it's illegal or not doesn't mean it's not happening. But that means that was your goal and you succeeded and I'm proud of you, all right? You're achieving your dreams. That's more than most people can say. A cowfish, like a make them like a. Oh, cowfish. cowfish is a thing. Like that's an actual fish. Cowfish? Let me look that up. I don't think I. Let me look. Maybe they're, I am. I just forgot. They're cowfish. funny looking. Oh my god! What the fuck is that? <laughs> he's like I yo. Do recognize he's got that. like the little horns. He's a. Uh, he kind of looks like a box fish, but with horns. There's actually a restaurant in that's the uh, Universal crap. like walk boardwalk thingy called the cowfish it's a sushi restaurant and it's so fucking good we went there a whole bunch when we were in uh in like disney universal last time oh, I go to the again. sorry i, I, I was reading chat i was not paying attention you're just moving forward oh yeah never move stay stationary consume pie fuck i wish that were me right now i love pie man pie is so good go buy a pie move, uh buy i pie, can't right now on the move Take us with you. Take us with you. That would also be really funny. I I wonder if there's a way that I can like stream from my phone. Uh, where I think there is a way for you to do it. I don't know how. And obviously, I, I like I don't know what I would do since I can't put like my camera up. <laughs> but, you know how? Grocery, grocery shopping adventure, guys! Yay! Just pretend you're on the phone. Don't believe in you. Believe in me that blue seed. Oh. Yeah. Don't believe. Precisely. I watched Kuren Lagan. I even saw the, I saw the movie. Believe in the you that believes in yourself. Remember, if no one believes in you, Kamina believes in you. Oh, I believe in the I you that believes my... in me. I still have my very spoiler heavy opinion about Kamina. <laughs> You have what? That I, a very spoiler-heavy opinion about Kamino. Uh, a good opinion, mind you, but uh, I can't really talk about it unless Chad has either seen Gord Lagan or does not care about Gord Lagan's spoilers. You, you guys watch you should, should watch. Yeah, you should care. You should watch Gurren Lagan. Gurren Lagan is one of my favorite anime. 
if you can get past what? 14 year old Yoko Lindner being uh, half naked all the time, it's great. Oh, we f we fucking hate Yoko in these streets. Yoko sucks. I hate Yoko. I actually, I hated Yoko in season. I liked her in season two. Mm. I I liked it because she was exactly the same. And that's why that's why I missed. What? Because season two um, is different from season one, like a lot different, like the situation and everything. But Yoko was fucking exactly the same, and I'm like, you know, I missed that. Oh, really? Yeah. Also, she was Who a legal adult. Who the hell do you think I am? Dude, I had a crush on Kamina. I have a Kamina plushie somewhere in my I don't room. Even, I don't even blame you. I would, too. Hell yeah. He's great. He's awesome. It was a uh, Ted Actually, as a matter of fact, let me text you my spoiler. Oh, okay. Ted and I'll our friend Ghostboy that we were talking about, they were the ones who got me to watch Gurren Lagan with them. Power word of high, oh my god. Cream parts are nars, okay, okay, Wolf. You know what? I'll choose to go with the normal term, the the uh, the literal term of cream pie for that. I wish you stopped to get pie or any food, actually. Yeah, the store for me closes in like an hour and a half. <laughs> Cephalopods are in D drives from mollusks. Yeah, they're mollusks. Yeah, sorry, I'm, we're talking I'm about reading again. Buds. No, we read shit. You believe in nothing. Well, believe right, in the me. Believe, believe in the me that believes in you, Gold Scar. And I'm not her. Believe in the me that believes in you. Uh oh. I mean, the uh, the ending quote is don't believe in the is don't believe in the you and the believes in me and don't believe in the me that believes in you. Believe in the you that believes in yourself is like. The, is that's like the, the that's the end one. goal, isn't it? Yeah, that's the, that's what that's he where says you, that's for where like you wanna be. the final time or whatever it was. Yeah. So chat, believe in that's... the you that believes in yourself. Create an idealized version of yourself, the you you want to be. Now imagine them believing in you. <laughs> you don't exist. The you that's <laughs> no. the you that's made it. Neither of you do. Fuck, you're right. We're just anime characters on a computer screen. We're not real. What are your goals? I believe in you right now. What do you want? I'm gonna believe in you. I don't care what it is. I don't give a fuck how legal, yeah. illegal it is. You mind you know he's in the gutter? Okay, okay. You never know when you have a furry PPP. <laughs> you, know? you can't blame me, but no, yeah. Dude, coconut cream furry pies or like violent. egg custard pies. Fuck, those things are so good. It's really just a fever dream bought by, uh, brought onto you by the lack of pie. I believe it, honestly. I fucking love pie. Believe in myself, motherfucker, they got me into this problem. <laughs> what? A Custer's amazing? Yes! Hogan says, believe in myself, that motherfucker got me. Hey, if you me can get yourself out of the problem, you get yourself out of it. <laughs> Where the heck is the stupid gray striped hood so I can give it to Zag? Baggy shirt, my beloved. I love this baggy shirt. It's such a good fit. Meso, no. You want flan pie? Is that a thing? I've never had a flan pie. I've had flan- or I guess it's pronounced flan. I always said flan because flan sounds better than flan. But- I say flan because I'm not gonna fake having a Spanish accent. Eh? Is- is- is flan Spanish? It's Mexican, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I thought it was like It's- it's French some kind of Latin. Something. Is it? I have no idea. I for some reason my brain was telling me it was French, but it might be Hispanic. I don't know. The Roman Empire? Yeah, I was closer. You said French. <laughs> okay, I was closer in locality. I mean, uh, mm, is uh, Flan is Spanish? Mm. Wait, what? Oh, I looked away and I missed the coins. Is that Ted? Join. Yes, it's me, Ted. Leo. Hi, oh my Ted. God, oh my God, Ted, what's up? It's you sound different. Ted O Luminous. Ted O Luminous. Ted Luminous Cleo. Ted. That was uh, a yeah. that was Dragon's Dogma. Uh, uh, I played the game incorrectly. Lots. Do you have a different mic? I'm happy for you. Wait, do Hello, I? Do I sound different? Cleo. You sound different. Yeah. Oof, uh, Arisen I think it seems correct. It sounds like your mic gain is turned up like really high or something. But again, I'm sorry. Do you want to? Do you want me to lower it? 
No, it's 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 fine. It just it just sounds like you're kind of staticky. Huh? Wait, what's going on? Uh. Huh? I don't know what's happening. Welcome to my TED talk. Give us your TED talk, Ted. And oh wait, there's actual Ted. Hi, Ted. Yeah, Ted's here. No, yeah, Ted's so doing. Ted is here. Spoke. I can't I'm see. Cleo. My oh, your gaming is Cleo. You're right. We have a. Uh, uh, yeah, but we have, uh, yeah, uh, since I'm on streamer mode, it doesn't notify me when people join the VC, so I had to look over and see your foogie. Mm-hmm. Yes. I know Ted's been watching it in the VC, so I thought Ted had joined, but then I said Cleo, so I went, oh, shit. I'm... <laughs> and then Ted joined, and then Ted spoke. We got the squad. We do. My quality we matches. Do. The stream quality? What do you mean? My stream is always of the highest quality imaginable. I've only had the best streams. I'm the best streamer to ever exist. Wi-Fi issue? My Wi-Fi... I don't really have many Wi-Fi issues. Not I have your the... Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi? No, his you... Wi-Fi, not your Wi-Fi. Oh. Stream quality is bad for him because his Wi-Fi is bad, oh, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay. Um... Flan is the only person from Disgaea? One who didn't completely shit on their development. Really? Yo, the things this guy was. That's Ted. That's Ted's derpy well from Ted's Battle Block Theater. Derpy well. Yeah. Let me make the critically so acclaimed weird. game of Battle Block Theater. Did I ever actually end up beating that game? How much have I ever actually ended up beating that game? Is that a piss well? No, it's derpy well. <laughs> Is that a piss whale? Oh. No, he shits emeralds or whatever it was. Some green, green gems. I like gold. Was it gold? Green Gems was the other thing in the game. I think it was gold. Yeah, I, uh, I actually don't know I It never occurred to me why the whale in ba Battle Block Theater is yellow. Why not? I mean, shit's golden. I mean, he, he was super terrifying. He came out all like, wow. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Hold on, let me rejoin. Oh. Wait. Okay. Welcome I back. I somewhat doubt that fixed anything. Oh, yeah, no, you're no, still, you're still not exactly the same. What the heck? I don't know. It's funny, man. Really you're care. always mellow when you're yellow. <gasps> wow. Isn't mellow yellow like a soda or something? Or a drink? I don't know. I thought that was the snake thing. Snake thing? Snake thing? Oh! Red neck the yellow. He's a friendly fellow. Oh! oh red, yellow. red touch yellow. Ye oh, no. oh no, no, red touch yellow is uh, the bad one. The, the no, way that, that we the have it one? is red touch yellow red, kill a yellow, fellow, kill red a touch fellow. black venom lack. Uh, mine was friend of Jack. I heard here. friend of Jack. Here it's uh, the way I learned it was uh, red touch black venom lack. I mean, that also works. <laughs> and we 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 venom lack now. <laughs> Apparently he's pyre. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> no yellow is a song probably. Oh, alternative to Mountain Dew. I thought the alternative to Mountain Dew was 7 Up. Cause like I don't know. 7 Up has the cool spot. Cuz it's Cuz what are the Cuz 7 Up is the alternative to Mountain Dew and then like Sierra Mist is the alternative to Sprite and then you got like Dr Pepper and like Dr Bob and like five other billion ones. Yeah. Sierra Mist doesn't exist anymore. You gotta let it go. The accident wasn't your fault. Wait, does Sierra Mist not anymore? actually exist anymore? It does not. It doesn't? Now. Wait, when did this happen? It's what now? It's starry now. Starry? Uh, this happened uh, January of 23. Starry? I have never heard of that. How did I not know about that? I mean, I guess because I never drank Sierra Mist, but... What? I mean, it's basically the same, just under a new name. Still the shit. Knock off Sprite. Huh. Interesting. I don't know how I haven't heard about that yet. This is the first time I'm hearing about that. Why do I have nine Discord notifications? Who the fuck is messaging me? Why would anybody want to message me? Oh, you. Oh, right, this. Spoiler, let me read this. 
<laughs> I got two pairs of round shades. I fucking hate it. I bought two pairs of the same glasses with two different dogs. I forgot I already owned them. Oh, yeah, you posted that meme also. God, I need to rewatch Gurren Lagan. Oh, my internet is this dying? Is, the fit. is my internet dying? I don't know. I, I, I I'm, clicked I into You're my, um, I clicked into my stream. Wait, what? Your internet seems very not down to me right now. Okay, okay. I can still hear you just fine, yeah. I clicked over to my tab to my stream and it, it was just frozen, so it might have just gotten paused or something at some point during this. It does that sometimes. Dark tastes like garbage. I I am lucky <coughs> in the um I am lucky in the fact that I cannot taste the difference between diet soda and regular soda. They taste the same to me. So I can enjoy either. If you happen to give me diet soda by accident, I'll be like, hell yeah, this soda tastes like fucking fire, let's go. Uh, regardless. So, uh, it's, you know, good. I'm not limited to not hating diet soda. Ew, aspartame. Aspartame, it's bad for you, but, uh, it doesn't taste any different to me. Never tried Baja Blast? I had Baja Blast once. I don't remember what it tasted like. I, I remember thinking it was like, all right, I mean, it was good. I didn't dislike I mean, it. It's anything. good. It's not like the greatest soda known to man, but hey, it's it's different. Yeah, Baja yeah, Blast. Surge. It's, it's like the uh, it's like the meme soda. So, and I've only ever had it once, and I'm like, okay, this is good. You know, why not? Let's go. But I haven't had it since then, and I don't remember what it tastes like. And is Surge like the other version of Baja Blast that? Taco Bell House or something like that? No, no. Surge is like an old, like, 90s drink. I remember there was some... There's, there was like a different version. There's like a red version of Baja Blast. Oh, Code Red. Oh, okay, okay. I knew there was some other one. Gotcha. I have never had that one. I've only had Baja Blast. Because I don't go to Taco Bell or whatever. I still love, uh, there's a post, I'm like, you know, Coke or Pepsi, nah, we love squirt in this house, so I was like, and I was like, no, we are talking about the, the soda drink squirt from, you know, whatever year. Oh my god. I mean, RC Cola is the best cola. How do people taste any difference with diet or regular, though? I don't know, honestly. Like, it's made a different shit. It's, it is, it is different. There's different stuff in it, and it does taste different, like, objectively. I just can't tell the difference. If you handed me, like, a cup of diet soda and said this might be diet this might be regular uh figure it out i would not be able to tell you which one it is yeah, Miss i Midnight can taste the difference in milks hey ron hello hello i have to tell you that you've been streaming for two hours holy sh it's actually been oh, like oh close to three hours two Almost hours and 40 hours, minutes yeah. also you can mega tell the difference between Pepsi and Coke. Oh, between Pepsi and Coke, I think I, I mean, I can tell the difference if you're like, this is Pepsi, this is Coke. If you handed me one and said, which is which, maybe, because I don't really drink Coke or Pepsi very often. I always go for either root beer or Dr. Pepper. Hardly ever drank Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is like the lemon lime. I don't. So I love soda, but there are a few sodas that I'm not really a fan of. I'm not a fan of grape soda or orange soda. They're okay. Like I'll, I'll drink them if you give it to me. But same thing oh, with goodbye. Mount. I don't like Mountain Dew or Seven Up. I don't like those ones. Like if you'd give it to me, I'd probably drink it. But out of all sodas, it would be the least likely for me to actually accept. Like, hey, do you want this? I'm like. Fuck, dude, maybe. <laughs> Coconut diet code is really noticeable. Taste difference. Diet feels like cold, fake sugar. I have heard that diet coke tastes horrible, but I have drank in so much diet coke, welcome back, Leothin, that Hello. it just kind of tastes like soda to me. Although Can I will I say- sound deep fried? Yeah. Yes. What? I'm so confused. Okay. Oh, you smell it was fine. Like it's only like certain times it happens, but for the most part, it's okay. And right. wait, what is Midnight Mountain Dew? Did you say Midnight Mountain Dew? I don't know that. Oh, it's not Code Red. There's a Red Baja Blast now. Some kind of fucking fruit punch. It tastes terrible. I love fruit punch. But um, dude, there was a um. Oh my god, what? So it might have been Pepsi, but there was like a. Like a, it was like a marshmallow. It was like a space. It was like space flavored. 
There was like space flavored Pepsi or Coke or something oh, like that. Oh, my friend has like a bunch of those stocked up in his fridge. Really? Those were yeah. like a limited thing like a couple years ago at this point, right? Or a year or yeah. two ago? Holy yeah, shit. he still has the stocked in a fridge. Oh my god. It was interesting. It, it was something all right. It was um, a friend got it and he's like, wow, this tastes terrible. Do you want it? And I'm like, sure, brother. And it was it wasn't bad. It's just cotton candy Coke. Was it, it? It was was it cotton candy or was it? Cause there was one that was cotton candy, and then there was another limited edition flavor that was like s'mores or something. Whichever one it was, uh, there I've never really had like a bad, weird soda unless you count like fucking pickle flavor soda or those weird ones, you know. Midnight was like a dark raspberry flavor. Oh, that sounds good. Mountain Dew is what you drink if you're a gamer. I've had the like melon flavored, like fucking Captain Melon or whatever it's called. Uh, Manager Melon. I, whatever it was, I've had that one and that one wasn't bad. I liked that one. Bacon flavor soda. There's so many different flavor sodas. There's bacon soda, there's like ranch soda, there's like corn soda and buffalo soda. There's a soda for way Butterbur too many things. Butterbur has like banana flavored something. Banana flavored soda sounds good. I love banana flavored. Banana got flavored. Got a bunch of wacky shit. Uh, oh my! Banana flavored grass jelly grass jelly drink. What was it? What was it from my one stream? Was it grass jelly? It was banana flavored grass jelly drink. Grass drink. Is Doctor or is whatever is of the uh, Doctor Pepper shake? Now you be catching restaurants handing me shit like here, King of Coke. Can you take a sip like you bastard? <laughs> the Limit um. Time shake uh, off it. Oh my god, what was it? It was. Oh, so fun fact. I f I'm trying to remember what it is. So Oracle has told me a secret at a restaurant. If they're out of ginger ale, if they're out of ginger ale, what they do is they fill it with Sprite and then add like a splash of, I can't, I think it was like Coke or something, a splash of some other soda, and you, people can't tell the difference. Like, I'm sure if you put like real ginger ale and it next to each other, they'd be like, hey, something's up. But if you just say, you, if you just order ginger ale and they bring you that, they're not gonna know the difference. So if you're, if they're out of ginger ale, <laughs> if you ever need ginger ale and you don't have ginger ale, get some Sprite and whatever the other soda was, I'd have to ask him again. Theo, I sent you a link to a place near you that has over a hundred different uh, soda flavors. Ayo. What? That's oh, a lot of soda flavors. Is this the one in the, one the with place? The one the milkshakes as well? The one in the place. I do enjoy milkshakes. Uh, there is a soda sh This looks like a place that I know of is this in the area that the area that oracle worked at like no that? oh okay because there's a soda shop there that has also like gelato and stuff like that no this is uh i'll have to see where by that the is. theater i believe Ooh, really like the one that has like the yeah okay hell yeah maybe i'll look into that now that it's warmer out, I'm sure I can, like, survive. Milk-flavored milk. Ooh, god, this makes me so hungry. Here, I'll send you the milkshakes list as well. Space Coke tastes like ozone. You don't like vanilla- You don't like vanilla flavor sodas? Silver? Like cream soda? The best soda? Cream soda is the best soda. I really like cream soda too. Yes. It's Where's like the only soda I'll consistently cream drink. soda? Where's Meso? So I think so Meso is the other one who's like a based cream soda enjoyer. Soda with milk flavor. Oh my god. Dude, carbonated milk? <laughs> Dude, you, milk should, flavor. you should drink pilk. What the fuck is vanilla flavor soda? That sounds Why? like a Warcraft. No, it's so good. It's so good. Cream soda. Cream. I keep saying creamed soda. It's cream soda. Yeah, crippling addiction to cream soda. It's so good. I want cream soda. 
Cream soda should be more popular here. It's not like peanut butter jelly flavor soda? I'd, I'd try that. That actually sounds not bad if they pull it off right. Never gets to play Baja Blast and Dr. Pepper down on your end. Is it even good? I remember liking Baja Blast, and Dr. Pepper is my favorite soda aside from cream soda. But the thing is, whenever you ask, like, what's my favorite soda, I'll say Dr. Pepper, because cream soda is not, like, a standard soda here. Like, you can find it. You can find it in the grocery store, but if you go into the soda aisle, you're not really gonna find the big, like, liters, like, two liters of soda, of cream soda. You're gonna find them in, like, the little glass bottles or something, and those, like, specialty packs or whatnot. Cream soda Dr. Pepper is so good. I've heard that. I've never seen that. I've never seen that in person. I need to find that because it sounds amazing. Wait, you never had the Dr. Pepper cream soda? No, I've never seen that before. You're, you're the person that told me about it. I've never seen it. I have a friend that genuinely enjoys pill. Can I hope God saves her from condemnation? I've had vanilla Dr. Pepper. I, there's like cher cherry vanilla flavored Dr. Pepper or Coke or something like that. And they're good, but I've never had cream soda Dr. Pepper or whatnot. There's strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper. What the hell? Oh, soda is amazing, but loses fit so quickly. Does cream soda lose fit quickly? I always drink it fast enough that I never notice. You saw someone try the peanut butter jelly flavor silver, and apparently it's not nice at all. Aww. Strawberry cream Dr. Pepper? What the heck? I want all these flavors. When I worked at the convenience store, we had like a bajillion flavors of a bunch of stuff. But they were, they were from that like machine that spits it out. Um, you like select it on the screen and it all spits it out of the same like thing. Cause it, and some people don't like that. So I can't really say whether it was good or not. I thought it was tasted fine. Wendy's Vanilla Frosty sounds revolting? What?! Chocolate? Silver with bad takes? What, yeah, do, silver with the bad takes? You don't like vanilla ice cream? You just don't- do you just not like vanilla? How can you not like vanilla? It's like the most basic and like the most classic of flavors. Ban her- Johnson's ban her! Oh god. Tempted. Tempted. Imagine not liking vanilla, tempted, right? Vanilla is amazing. Cream soda loses fit a lot faster than other kinds for whatever reason. Huh, I never noticed. Cream soda ain't exactly popular by what it's seen in your travels. Why, why not? I need cream soda. I need to get me one of those, like, giant, like, two liter fucking billion bottles of cream soda. At the, um, the, not the convenience store, the grocery store. Those, like, giant bottles of soda are really cheap. You can get them, like, a lot. And then there's also a, um... Uh, there's the store brand of sparkling water that I really like, really fucking like. It's made with aspartame, but like, I'm stupid enough. I'm sure that it's not going to kill me or whatever. My mental state is already bad. It can't make it any worse than it already is. So I don't think aspartame is going to murder me, but it's really good, really good. It tastes like the I sparkling. I can't wait for aspartame to murder me. <laughs> you like strawberry and vanilla better than chocolate, honestly? Oh yeah, I don't really like chocolate, which is which is a like blasphemy or something like that. But I am not a fan of chocolate in most capacities. There are some chocolate things I do like. I love brownies. Like chocolate brownies are so fucking good. Uh, chocolate fudge is also pretty good. So there are some things that I do like better chocolate, but uh, typically I'm not really a chocolate fan. But yeah, I, I definitely love strawberry and vanilla. You like vanilla ice cream with actual toppings and stuff, but on its own vanilla doesn't sound super appealing. Cringe. Oh my god, now I need... Now I need... Fucking... Ah! Ice cream or soda or something. I'm hungry as heck, man. But the store closes in seven minutes. The place I sent you is open until like 11 or midnight. Wait, really? Oh shit. I believe so. We should meet up and go there after this. <laughs> I'll have to like look at this. Yeah, they close at 11. I'm looking at. Oh, is this it? There is still time. 
All right. All right, all right. Yeah, there is still time. There is still time. If you actually did there want to. There is still to. time to stop the key from turning. Because it's been almost three hours. So this has been like a, a full length stream at this point. I want to. Like three hours? What'd you say? Been like, what, three hours, yeah? Yeah, it's been like in seven minutes, it'll be three hours. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, a me oh my. Another person who doesn't swear up and down by chocolate? How rare. Yeah, right? So many people like chocolate. I just, I'm just, I just just don't like it. Not bad. I used to be really there on chocolate, but the older I get, the less I'm into it. <laughs> mm hmm. McDonald's fries or Wendy's fries? Who makes the best ones? I like both of them equally because both of them are the kinds of fries that I like where they're like just Burger floppy King. and salty and soft. <laughs> I don't like crunchy fries. I don't like crispy fries. I don't like. I like the soft, thin, floppy fries. Honestly, same. Yes. There's ice cream place that sold cream soda floaties. Oh my god, dude. Frosty. Did you guys ever have the Wendy's Frosty Float? It's a root beer float, float except it's with not. Frosty. I have not. It's really good. I used to get them all the time back in high school. I realized I'd not tried Wendy's until like last year. I'd like never had Wendy's prior really? to. Yeah. 2023. Grocery store and spring sodas suck. They were under a box so you could get like two for the price of one of the Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Can I think? So have any opinions that are based in your eyes, IDK? I think I've had some consistently bad takes. I don't I can't say. I can't say because opinions are opinions. But you definitely have had many unpopular opinions. <laughs> yeah, it's fried to Peanut be butter, crunchy, I know, butter. but I don't like it. I like it soft and salty and floppy. I don't like crunchy things. It depends on the kind of crunch it is for me to enjoy crunchy fries. People consider vanilla the plain flavor. Chocolate's far more common as a basic flavor. Yeah, a lot of people say that. And uh, are, uh, there are a lot of places that have chocolate as like the main flavor and stuff. Or a lot of uh, brands, a lot of flavors are just based in chocolate rather than vanilla, which makes me mad. Pomegranate lemonade, not bad. That sounds good. Ah, <gasps> oh, I had pomegranate white hot chocolate not long ago, a couple weeks ago when I was hanging out with my friend. Uh, because they're- the one place that I go to, uh, is a bunch of different shops all together, and it's very cute, and one of them has hot chocolate in it. And really good hot chocolate, like this kind of like weird custom hot chocolate with all these different flavors. They have like butterscotch toffee hot chocolate, uh, and then they have one where you can kind of pick your own. And I picked white hot chocolate with pomegranate in it. And that was so fucking good, and I need to get that again. I don't go to that place too often because it's like half an hour or so away from me. But ah, it's so good. You love peanut butter? I also love peanut butter. <laughs> you know which is a picky eater? God, I am absolutely a picky eater. Well, oof. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to stop soon because my hunger is actually- I don't know if I'm getting dizzy because I haven't eaten yet. But I, I'm getting a little bit sick, which happens when I don't eat. So I'm gonna have to hop off so I don't actually get ill again. Because getting sick and uh, combined with the camera of this game... Uh, I'm feeling not so good right now. <laughs> Do it, go Do it, eat. Play the, play the shadow level. No! <laughs> Ride a roller coaster. It's oh. so fun though, you're in an amusement park. I love my amusement park. Amusement park. Amusement park. Imagine riding a roller coaster. Not me. Stream just ends. You don't like me roller coasters? Never been on one. Oh. Yay! Have fun with food because I am going to. Gafino, go eat. Ted, take her to get food. I had to drive like half an hour just to do that. Yeah, I, um... If I go to the speed limit. 
Which you won't. Legally. <laughs> Legally, it will take I'll you 30 minutes. I'll have to see how minutes. far away that um that place you sent me is because honestly, if they have uh, like from you, it's like stuff. 10 minutes. Oh shit! Oh. New favorite place acquired. I will go and Before actually see that. I'll check that out. Cause yeah, it's I was only gonna say, unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to make it in time. Yeah. We can go another day. Yes. What would you consider yes, to bring me this for? Yeah. Oh, you stopped being lazy and find a link to it? Uh, link in the description to the Discord. <laughs> Merida, you don't have like an exclamation point Discord, and I will copy and paste the link in the chat because we don't have a bot for that because the stream bot died. RIP stream bot, may he forever rest in peace. Wait, what happened to stream bot? Stream, nice. I don't know. One day. Stream bot just disappeared one day. We miss stream bot. We remember him. Rest in peace, stream bot. Here, don't rest check the pancakes. <laughs> you don't check descriptions? Funny you should mention that. There you go. <laughs> loser. Get in the, the Discord, loser. We're talking about food. Lot. Yeah, honestly, same. Unfortunately, a lot of the rules are always in descriptions, so people tend to forget descriptions exist and therefore don't see the rules. But oh well, you know, it'd be how it be. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to hop Discord off. Server. I'm gonna hop off so I can go and get like a milkshake or whatever else they have there because I am fog flip flapping hungry. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. I love shulk mix. Shilk mix. All right, everybody. Oh, I'm gonna check the child garden. I'm in the child garden black market one more time to see if I can get Zach his little hat, and then I'm gonna exit the game. One more check. One more check. Probably won't have it. No, they only have the stupid. It. They only have the stupid pink and yellow one. Oh. R.I.P. Yeah. But, all right, say bye, everybody. Say bye bye to chat. Bye. Say chat bye bye. Bye bye, chat. Bye bye. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Join the Discord. There's a link in the chat. There's, There's another link in chat just in case you didn't see the first one. Oh my god. <laughs> also, um, Lurkers, thanks for stopping by. I, I see you. You may not want to be perceived. I see you. Lurkers, <laughs> looking good today. <laughs> all right, see ya. Thank you for coming. I'll see you guys whenever the next time I'll see you is. Bye.